Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Another uh, random stream. And yes, that is actual daylight coming in through the window there. How come Legend didn't stream the rest of his trough campaign? I don't know. I just do one live stream every now and again. Uh, what I'm just going to do real quickly is tweet that I'm live, because obviously, due to this not being the usual time that I would normally live stream, I think I should let people know. So just give me a second here. This won't take long. And then, yeah, we're going to be playing Archeon, because I just felt like playing Archeon. No particular reason. Just don't want to feel like playing... And I was curious about Endgame Crisis. I was thinking about doing an early Endgame Crisis, but not Ultimate Crisis. So just trigger one of these. And uh, we'll see how that goes. But, I don't know. I don't really like focusing too much on Endgame Crises, because I just don't find them that much fun. But, uh, who knows, maybe one of them put up something of a challenge. There we go. Tweet's done, and people will either show up or they won't. We'll see. Who has the best Favchun effect update? Uh, probably Talson. <laughs> the maximum annoyance, Wood Elf Endgame Crisis. Well, why don't we just leave it at random? We'll see which... Uh, the Wood Elf one wouldn't really be that annoying, I don't think. The most annoying one, I think, would be Skaven. So, let's just leave it at this. It'll happen fairly early on, and we'll just see which one we get. I kind of hope green skins. I don't know. Uh, or maybe vampires. No, vampires are so annoying to fight. Yeah, anyway. Hey, Legend. The crisis actually won't spawn because you haven't chosen anything. Hang on. Are you... Are you sure? Unhappy Pressure did a fight awesome chat. For some reason, I can't explain Archeon is always my go-to favorite campaign. Thanks for making my night. No, so let me just... I'll have to go back and check that again. Because, uh... Did I, did I set one of the settings wrong? He looks weird in daylight? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, oh, someone's saying that I didn't set it up right, so I'll just go back and double check that. What's got you streaming in the morning this time? Well, I just don't have anything going on in the day, so I thought I'll live stream, that's all. I command here. No, it was enabled. Yeah, I just didn't have Ultimate Crisis enabled. Oh, other way around. Yeah, yeah, that's all enabled. Yeah, I just didn't have Ultimate Crisis on, that's all. You didn't trigger the check-in time, right? Oh, hang on. Did I not do it again? Let me just check that. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, it was it was definitely triggered this time. What's well, Ultimate Crisis? It uh, triggers all of the ultimate. Uh, sorry, triggers all of the in-game crises, which I don't really like that much. Shouldn't you disable trigger along victory if you want early? No, no, it it does either or. It's, it doesn't matter. All right, so let's see here. Prince Ograx, what did we get? He got the Great and Hideous Visage. 
that's a crap trait. Ah, oh, well, extra weapon strength won't hurt. Okay. Glory awaits. Left trigger on long victory on? Yeah, it's fine. It'll still trigger. Do I like the Chaos Dwarves? I do actually, yeah, I do actually like the Chaos Dwarves. Uh, it's um, not a perfect DLC, but what DLC ever is. Are you going to try confederate all the other lords, or is this Total War campaign? Neither. Uh, I will confederate some of them, I'm not going to focus on the others, and it's not a, this is a Total War campaign. I'm just going to play the game. I just feel like playing Warriors of Chaos today. And just gonna have some fun. That's all. And if I stop having fun, well then I'll stop live streaming. It's that simple. <laughs> okay. All right. So we don't have Dorger to begin with. Obviously, we want to take minimal casualties. I don't think it matters too much. We don't. We don't want Archeon getting smashed in this fight. They've got the high ground over there. Let's move these guys up over here a little bit. Now we're going to win this no matter what. But if we get totally smashed in the battle, then that'll make the next fight more difficult. So we want to try to avoid that. Hmm. Gotta watch out for this guy here. I want to try to kill him as quickly as possible. Got no skirmishes. Okay, I think if I send the Chaos Knights of Zinch over here to harass them, I'll be far enough away from the Hellstrider so they don't catch us. Is Arcane a better spellcast in Warhammer 3 than it was in 2? Not really. To the next victory. Maybe slightly. Not not really. Not a rooster became member for 38 months. Not counting Malice. Who do you think is the strongest level 1 lord? Probably Zhao Ming or Miao Ying. Or um, Sisters of Twilight. Thanks for the membership, dude. Appreciate you. Weird seeing Sunlight and Legends Room, lol. Yeah, I know, right? I know. People thought I was a vampire for a long time, but nope. Just a Skaven. So I'm just trying to get them to chase after us a little bit. Good, thanks for wasting some magic on a unit I wasn't using. Okay, let's move around this side a little bit so that we've got more of the high ground. Oh, we got speed, we got speed incoming. God, that quick, quick bitch. Let's go, 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 go. All right, good. Let's lure him away. Good. Let's do that. That's it. Just lure him away. That could be good. Climb that hill there. He's doing some damage to us, but that's okay. Just lure him away. He's really quick. Yeah, he's faster than our cavalry. Let's lure him away. Hell 
No, 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 no. I don't want to fight it with them. I wanted to flank him. I didn't want to. Okay, fighting's commenced. Okay, now that we've got them pinned down, now we start using this. No, 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 keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Uh, Jack Cogswell did a membership for 17 months. Hey, Legend, any upcoming long-term project you're working on now that the campaign reviews are over? They've been great resources. Um, I don't have anything planned at the moment, but thanks for the uh, super chat, uh, membership. Appreciate it. Come on, give me them the metal magics. Come on, don't kill off my Knights of Zinch at the very beginning. <laughs> I gotta get this guy back over here. Field. Get these guys over here. Get our anti large guys to go and fight this. That was gonna That's why I wanted to keep him out of the fight for as long as possible. Get these guys back so we're not so much in a blob. Losses shouldn't be too far off now. There we go. Henry Cavill did a two-dollar image. Shit. Haven't caught you live in a while. Appreciate you. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate you as well. All right. Cool. Well, that's better result than what auto resolve was going to yield. It's going to give us a close victory. Is it better to befriend the Chorfs or wipe them out for the Dark Fortress in the Dark Lands? Well, what you could do is you could take the Dark Fortresses and then force subjugate them when they're down to their last, like, factory or whatever, and just leave them with that. And that way you've got, uh, you've got a vassal of the Chaos Dwarfs and you get their Dark Fortresses. 
Alright, I am going to take the replenishment so that we keep our army going. I want to keep momentum fairly strong. I think I'll go with Searing... No, I'll go with Rip March. That's always good to go with first, even though I don't need it right now. Hey, Lemon Pledge. How's it going? Enjoyed the Valheim stream the other day at Little Total War. Good to see you again. No worries, dude. Good to see you as well. Uh, yeah, that's a crappy order resolve. I gotta fight it manually. Yeah. Do you like Bellicor's faction better than Archeon's? Personally, I can't play as anyone else. That research rate is just too good. Um, I actually prefer Bellicor, yeah. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about research rate, especially when your tech tree is not that interesting. I don't think the Warriors of Chaos tech tree is that interesting. Like, for example, the most interesting tech trees are the ones that... will just have more in it. So, I think Chaos Dwarfs has one of the most interesting tech trees. Then Skaven, the Dwarfs tech tree is really good. High Elves is pretty good. Dark Elves is really good. Lizardmen is really good. Greenskins is really good. Empire is eh. Wood Elves is pretty good. But they've also got... Uh, some of them have really small tech trees, so... By the time you get your tech rate up, you've already finished your research. Okay. I always find that if I deploy over here, this is actually a really big weak spot, because they'll deploy over here, and you can rush over to the other side here, and before they realize what's going on. So that's what I'll do with these guys. Whereas Archaon and these, this one, they're going to go up through here, but they're going to wait until things calm down a little bit. So, these big maps, the AI just doesn't really know what they're doing with them. Gonna... Oh, these tails gonna do much damage. No, we'll be fine. Have you gotten more into 40k lately? Uh, no. Why would I have gotten more into 40k lately? I, if anything, I've gotten less into 40k over the years. I'm barely paying attention to it at all. Like, if they came out with a total war worm of 40k, I'd totally get into 40k again. But right now, there are, like, no interesting games. For me, at least. For 40k, so I'm just not paying attention. Aroira, 10 did a 22 R super chat. Hey, Legend, how come you are so beautiful today? Thank you for thanking me for the super chat, by the way. Oh. You're just daring me to not thank you for the super chat. <laughs> but thank you for the super chat. Um... I guess it's the sunlight. It's good for me. Where's their faster units? I am exalted. Oh no, no! I didn't know that was going to be within range. So the plan here is to get these guys off the wall and then charge in the infantry. No sense in taking massive damage if we can avoid it. So they've got all their guys up on the wall. So I've got a free run over to here. And if anything starts crowding around us, well, I'll just bomb them with uh, Searing Doom. Because they don't have any single entities, they they can't beat us. Yeah. Okay. Just start running up through this way. But, but we hold the walls. <laughs> yep. So useful these walls. It's nothing more than a speed bump. Oh, my 
past is cold. I might get out of the way. Yeah. So I gotta pin him down first. Alright, they've got someone coming around over here. Let's, let's stay in this area. Draw them in because that way these guys here have a free run to get in and cap these points. Oh no, they're going back. Alright, then I'm going back. Okay, good. They're completely off the walls now, and now we're free to come on in <laughs> without getting smashed. Yeah. Who says you need to attack head on when the AI is this bad? <laughs> they don't know what to do. They're coming back on the walls? They might be. Yeah, they are. Okay. That's fine. We got these Hell Striders coming in. If all three of these fight at once, we should be able to overcome their their anti-large, especially these guys here not being large. Slanish power uh, towers are pretty powerful. The Legend, have you checked out Age of Wonders 4? No, I never really got into Age of Wonders, so no, I haven't checked it out. Alright, cool. Now they've left that undefended, I'll get in over here. Oh. Let's see it there. Because they had two of them. But we've got this one pincered, so that won't take long to take it out. It's not even penetrating our barrier yet. Okay, that's done. Let's move on to this position over here. And yeah, look, completely undefended now. Our guys can get in here without getting obliterated by towers. Look, they're not even using this guy here to try to cap this point. For some reason, they, they're programmed to just defend that position. I don't, I don't get it. Does poison attack hit through barrier? Yeah, yeah, it would. Yeah. Poison attack doesn't do any damage, and barrier only protects against damage, not debuffs. Alright, they're faster than us, but we'll just get them in this position and keep bombing. They don't dodge if they're already in melee. Playing with Chaos Dwarfs, Drasowath is the best legendary loot for that race, hands down. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Maybe I should have put a point into this so I could cast faster. Alright, the point here is captured. If they just sit there, we will just eventually win. Do you play any tabletop Warhammer or just Total War? Just play Total War. I'm primarily a Total War player, not a Warhammer player. I like Warhammer, but I'm not primarily a Warhammer player. Do 
To what extent do people think Old World releases will inspire future Total War Warhammer 3 content? I don't think it's going to inspire it much at all. I don't think it's going to make any real difference. Which is why I'm not... I am feel absolutely nothing for it. I just don't care. RD... Sorry, RG Damon, Damien, did a 10 pound super chat. It's always nice to see you stream. Thanks for the content. No, it's dude, my pleasure. Thanks for the super chat. Hi, I gave you a PayPal donation, but I was wondering if you can see the message that people write, then donation is given to you. No, not if you do a PayPal donation. No, I won't be able to see it. Uh, thanks for the donation. I, I do appreciate that, but if you want me to read it out, it has to be a super chat. going on here. Oh, they have another tower up. Doesn't matter. We're about to win. Pyrrhic victory! What do you want out of the next Total War DLC? Uh, well, I have some inside information that uh, the Chaos Dwarfs was actually the last DLC. No, I'm just kidding. Um... The next DLC, I think, will be a Lord pack. And I think it'll be maybe the Vampire Counts and introduce four new Vampire Counts, similar to the, how the Champions of Chaos DLC worked. So they'll... I think they'll add one for each of the... the um, bloodlines that haven't currently been represented. So Neferata, I think, is a given. Um, a Strigoi, Legendary Lord. So... Zacharias the ever living I don't know um I think they'll give us they could give us a blood dragon and they could give us a necrarch they could also put some of the new bloodlines or the obscure ones like the jade bloodline the Cathay versions I don't know maybe What do I personally want out of a DLC? Oh, I, I don't care. Nagash? Maybe. Alright, I want... I want two points into Searing Doom. Searing Doom's become a really good spell in Warhammer 3. Alright, and then we want... We don't really need the Corpse Mound, do we? Because if we get... Oh, that's right, I haven't unlocked it right away. If we get a Nurgle slot, we can get growth really quickly. We'll definitely want the money building. And the growth one doesn't really... Uh, yeah, 2,000 though. Well, I guess I can demolish it later. We definitely want Shatter... Where is it? Yeah, Shatterstone, this one here, that's really good. That makes sieges almost trivial. Now, how do I get a Nurgle slot? So, Nurgle is over here. Maximum active gifts for Nurgle. Okay, we need to work towards that, I think. That'll give us really good growth. Alright, we got ourselves the cool. All right. yep. Now, which direction do we want to go? Plains of Zen. Well, I haven't finished off these guys. The game kind of leads you to go this way, but this way you could encounter Kolek and vassalize him. And I guess I could just peace treaty these guys out. Get a bit of money out of them for a peace treaty. And then just, yeah, focus on the Maggotkin over here. That's what they are, right? Maggotkin? Yeah. What do you guys think? Yeah, why don't we do things a little bit differently and we'll go after the Maggot King kin first and we'll just leave them alone for now. Give Boris a chance to build up. That could be interesting. And we'll go and confederate. And also, this will make us close to the Darklands. That could be interesting to go that way. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. 
Um, how about you give me a settlement? Nah, they're not going to do that. Alright, I guess I can only get money out of them. I could... Yeah, I'll just... I'll just take that. Cool. We'll go back and fight them later. But let's go fight uh, these guys here, which are pretty weak. Alright, and then in terms of... Uh, we can get some lords to come with us. Let's see, what should we do? Because we don't have supply lines, so recruiting a lord is just a good way to get this guy guys get leveled up. Chaos lords, would that be okay? Allure of Slanesh, Brass Collar of Corn. Yeah, I don't know about any of that. Um, we could... Did they, did they fix the Unlimited Winds of Magic metal wizards for Warriors of Chaos? I can't remember. Hmm. Maybe I'll get, get someone that we can dedicate to a particular god early. Like this guy. Yeah, alright, let's, let's do this one here. And I'll dedicate him to... Wait, hang on, can he even dedicate to Nurgle? Yeah, he can. Okay, yeah, he can. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Alright, and there's nothing left to recruit here, is there? No. Okay, let's move on. Oh, hang on. Um, Mithril Blade 04... Did a five dollar subject. Glad to catch your stream again. Next? With Chaos Dwarves, Arms, Materials, and Chaos Souls, what's the next race that needs a more involved economy for you? Hmm. Without doubt. I mean, they could all use a little bit more improvement, but I don't know what the next one should be. Uh, General Butt Naked did a five dollar subject. Hey, Legend, do you think the Chaos Dwarf mechanics are overcomplicated compared to other factions? No, they're not. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. Maybe they're complicated from a Total War aspect, but as a Paradox player as well, they're not overly complex. Thalusa did a $2 super chat. G. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate the support. Alright, and let's move on. Is there ever a good reason to occupy non-Dark Fortress settlements, get bonus from resources, but is it worth it in your opinion? Yeah, it is good. Definitely worth it to get the various resources. They nearly all provide a global bonus. That's pretty damn good. But yeah, if it doesn't provide a resource or it's like a port settlement, you are vast, vastly better off giving it to a vassal because that way they can defend that position and also make you some money. M did a five pound super chat. Thanks for the stream. Much experience with Festus. Pretty much cleansed the empire with him and a couple of giants and trolls on very hard. Crazy regen. Uh, I don't have a huge amount of experience with Festus. I tend to prefer playing as undivided. Alright, so we're making our way down to the plains of Zenbaijin. These guys here tend not to recruit that quickly. Plus there'll be some recruits when we get there. Yeah, we don't need to be in our own territory. Let's go. So what we want to do here, I think, is... Oh, that's got wood. Okay, each vassal gives us 10% research rate and 25 extra souls. Uh, but I want that wood. <laughs> so I think I'm going to wipe these guys out. Yeah, who needs a Nurgle vassal? They're dirty anyway. Dirty, stinking Nurgle. Useless faction. Oh, should I have done the public water building? Well, that doesn't come until... Yeah, it doesn't come until there. Uh, how are we going to maintain public water here? Oh, we can maintain it by just not taxing it. It'll be fine. And plus, that's providing control over time. Alright, that's fine. That'll be fine. Okay, and... 
What's going with these guys? Just ignore them. Alright, let's keep going. What are you doing up at 11.30? It's 11.30 a.m., which means it's midday. Look, that sunlight coming through there. Hey Legend, as Zartan, what army comp do you mostly go with him? I usually go with Hero Spam. I actually give him the Bull Centaur Torox. Since he boosts no specific units, just gives blanket bonuses for the entire army. Yeah, I just give him um, uh, Bull Centaurs. Not renders, Bull Centaur Torox. Uh, Molik Jani did a $50 super chat. Can I get a quick rundown on the race specific mechanics of these guys? Uh, okay, for a $50 super chat, sure. Thanks, that's really generous of you. So basically, you recruit from whatever's in the area based on the war band system, I suppose. So currently I've emptied this province of its units. But when I enter this one here, we can find that there are six more units waiting for us to be recruited. Um, you want to occupy these dark fortress sites. They're your key settlements. Minor settlements like this are worth next to nothing. But tradable resource regions, they are worth something. You want to get as many vassals as possible because they provide you income and souls in this particular case. Alright, these guys here, they like me, so if I trespass on their territory, they're unlikely to declare war on me. Because if I look at this, I'm not going to... I'm not going to make it there next turn, even if I force march, I think. But we'll just force march anyway. Yeah, if I recruit the units, recruit the ones that are at max capacity, so that there's a chance that next turn it'll be increased. Because otherwise I'm just paying another turn for it. I I pay for it now. Alright. All good. Pretty small f They're not at war with anyone, are they? No. They're just sitting there. Dirty lumps. Alright. Yep, moving on. Do I miss Total War Emma 2? To some extent, I guess. Is Ice Trolls good for Throgs? Is it mid tier stack? Ice Trolls are really good with Throg. Really, really good. If you get down to Sun Eater and he's dead, what will you do? Well, that's very unlikely, but if he's dead, he can be revived at Dragon's death. We can actually get student followers with this. Alright. Oh, I could hit the Gallows Tree this turn. Well, it's either that or nothing. I was going to do uh, the Gallic Street last. So we're going to occupy the settlement because I want that wood. I think I'll auto it, but I'll just recruit the, the units first. Uh, Jack in 2000 did a 10 pound submission. Hi, mate. Good to see you back live. Hope you're good. What factions do you think need help? Rework. Also, planning on Beastman campaign? Pick a lord for me. Hope to see you live. More take it easy. Okay. Uh, thanks for chat, dude. What faction do I think need help rework? Probably the dwarfs? No, dark elves. Dark elves need a rework. They're just not fun. They're strong, but I hate them. Yeah, dark elves need a rework. Um, apart from that, there aren't really any really weak factions. Wait, I didn't do it. I was... No, I did do it. Wait, did I? 
<laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah, super chat bloody got me busy. I pick a beastman lord. Uh, play as Kazrak. Damien Wards did a five dollar super chat. Sup, dude. Hope you're well. Would you be interested in being sent a Chaos Dwarf, Bale Taurus, or Manipulative Dimstack? I don't know. I'll have a look at it, but I can't guarantee I'll cover it. Yep, that's fine. Now, I'm pretty sure the wood resource doesn't provide that much for us. Let's have a look. Ammunition for Marauder Horsemen and Marauder Horse Masters. That's actually not too bad. Not too bad. And, and we get five logs. Alright, now these guys over here have a military presence of eight. And because of the way that Nurgle works, they can't just spam out units because they've got to wait for capacities to increase. So what I want to do here is maybe move this guy just up here just a little bit and give them a chance to attack me. And in which case I'll just withdraw and then he won't be able to get back there because <laughs> he's a fucking Nurgle idiot. Okay, let's recruit another Lord. Oh, money is a bit... Hmm. You've already got one Nurgle, dude. Alright, we'll get a Chaos Lawn of Corn, why not? Oh, that may be a mistake. Ah, well, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I think I'm spending a little bit too much. But we'll see. Okay. Then, let's put in points for Burning Head. Yep. So making our way down to Maddening Gifts, we need Rites of Ascension or Charioteer. Yeah, we'll go this one, because that way we can get that extra campaign with the range. Mm, yeah, alright, let's pop that in. We can always replace it later. And let's do it. Let's go. Okay. Let's see if they take that bait. Uh, Slazik did a twenty dollars super chat. Good day, legends. Always a treat to watch your stream. Curious to know if you've tried a Zinch Demon Prince with new equipment from Trials of Fate. No, I haven't. Um, I haven't played as Daniel the Demon Prince because I don't like it. I had a look at some of the items that you get from the Trial of Fates, and I wasn't really that interested in it. Uh, but thanks for super chat. Uh, Garrett Ratchford did a five dollar super chat. Do you know if there is an attack area command for the Dreadquake Mortar? Tried getting good shots on juicy blobs and they just charge into melee. No, there isn't. You can only use attack on ground for artillery units that are manned. Now they didn't go for it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, Joshua Swinbanks did a five dollar super chat. Would you consider doing another co-op campaign? Uh, I'd think about it. Thanks for super chat. Oh, good, we can reach over here. Yeah, we want to occupy that for Marble. That'll be good. So I'll go to war with um, Kolek after this. You dare? We shall weave the fates. Ready? I'll have this world. Uh, St. Michael did attend also. It's been a while since I've caught a live legend. Glad to show some love support. No, it's good. Really appreciate it. Donkey Fish did a five pound super chat. Thanks for the years of entertainment. You're the reason I got into Total War games. I've had hours of fun playing them. Thanks again. No, it's good. And thank you for your first super chat. Appreciate it. Okay, bring him over here. Alright, we've got. It said there was two units. Oh, there's a Chaos Spawn there. But I am broke. Leave me be. Can't do much better if I'm broke and broke.
This being Nurgle shouldn't be too difficult. We'll just do the same thing that we did uh, against Slanesh. Uh, let me see here. Sorry if you answered this already, but your favorite Chorf Legendary Lord? Drazoath. Easily Drazoath. Definitely my favorite. Uh, Daniel Cropper did a PLN 10 Super Chat. How's the FPS performance after the update? Shit. <laughs> it Performance took a hit. With the update. Definitely took a hit. Do you hate Bretonia because you're constantly being attacked playing as them? I actually like Bretonia. So your premise is wrong. I just think that Bretonia is better to play in Warhammer 2. That's all. What armies do you think could be able to do the most with Chaos Dwarf units obtained from allied recruitment? Any faction that stand out in particular? Yes, all of them. Really, uh, Chaos Dwarf have some of the best units in the game. Like Dreadquake Mortars. Imagine, imagine borrowing a Dreadquake Mortar. Demon. Iron Demon. I don't even know if you can do that. But that, that'd just be bloody insane. Imagine that in your uh, Empire Army. Or in your Dwarf Army. Like the, the Chaos Dwarf roster is better than the Dwarf roster. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Alright, there are... Okay, there are blind spots. We just need to hide. Chaos Marauders! Yes! The Dark God command me! I'm a legend, why don't you fight fairly? Followers of Chaos! Chaos, the only master. Okay, so because all of our army is hidden except for these two units, they should deploy all of their forces right over here. That's what I think they'll do. Oh, this guy's on horseback now. Okay, that's fine. Um, which means these areas here should be completely cleared. Ready, steady, go. Ah, oh, it's not completely cleared. That's okay. Go, 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 go. Uh, Joshua Swin back to the $2 super chat. What do you expect in the next DLC race to be? Uh, I think the next DLC race? I have I have no idea. No idea. Any prediction that I make is going to be way off. I'm, I'm not making predictions. But thanks for the super chat. Alright, doesn't look like we're actually going to be able to get in through here. Let's reposition. Ind or Araby? Ind, Ind seems more likely than Araby. Yeah, I'd say Ind. If I had to guess. But yeah, I don't know why anybody asked me for predictions, because my powers of prediction are so bad. It's just ridiculous. I'm, I'm almost always wrong. If there are dogs of war, where are the cats of peace? Oh, that'd be Ind. They've got the Tiger Men of Ind. But they're not exactly peaceful. Enforcements have arrived. That's cool, I guess. Oh, 
Okay, actually, Archeon, you just stay here, and this guy, he's got speed of 78, so he should be able to outrun any of these Nurgle idiots. And I'm just gonna send him <laughs> straight over here. A lot of these walls in this area here is indestructible. I think I'll break through here. Now that. Hey legend, will I find love? You won't find it here. I'm assuming you mean romantic love. Uh, if you're always wrong, then makes it an easy prediction. No, it doesn't, because it's not a it's not a guess one of two options. So these guys over here, they are... Ooh, this tower, is it? Oh, it's slightly obstructed. But yeah, Nurgle towers are very powerful, so let's maybe try not to blob up. I'm going to send some of the guys back over this way. No, alright, just... just uh, what's the tower activates that one? that one? Okay, I'll have to try to cap that. Lordmaster Liberasta did a ten dollar super chat. Same here with oh God, uh, with the other viewer. I had hundreds of hours of fun playing Worm Two and other games because of your content. And sorry, you explain very clearly why you make decisions and it freaking works. All right, thanks, dude. Yep, that's uh, what I try to do. So I'm I'm glad uh, that you guys get some value out of that. Alright, I feel like this tower isn't really doing that much damage to us here. It seems to be mostly obstructed. Uh, Gwarkag did a 5 year super. Do you think Nurgle Demon is playable on this patch? Demons of Nurgle? Oh, they've always been playable, they're just- they were a weak race, that's all. You know what, they're a faction that really needs a bit of a rework, yeah. They're just a- just a weak race. Somebody's going to be weak. If here's a, here's a little thing. If everything was OP, then nothing is OP. Because being OP or being weak is relative to other factions. No, they're coming. We're not going to hold that for long. Oh, they- Oh, look at this! <laughs> God, I hate restrict camera. Look at this. They're not trying to recap the position. I think he means Demon Prince Nurgle. Well, okay. If- If that's what you mean, then you should say so. Because... You really gotta try to be as specific as possible when there's so many different overlapping things in this game. Um, you mean like the, um... Uh, Daniel the Demon Prince. Yeah, I guess he could be playable. <laughs> I guess, if that's what you meant. Just get over here. Don't worry about fighting these Nurglings. Pull these guys out. They're getting a bit too damaged.
<laughs> I'll slowly make my way over here. Alright. Getting rid of this tower here will give me a lot of ease of mind. Yeah guys, if you want if you want good answers from your questions, try to make them as specific as possible. If you just ask a question like, hey legend, do you think good? Like I can't fucking answer that. So give me as much detail to your question as possible, and I can give you as much detail as possible to the answer. But yeah. Don't expect me to bloody interpret your question a thousand different ways, because I'm not gonna bother with it. Um Gwarkag did a five year subject. No, I meant Nurgle faction, you were right. There we go. Uh, thanks for the info. People always tell me that if you want to play Nurgle, just go Bellacor. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, no, no. You know, if you want to play Nurgle, play as um, Festus. Festus is a really powerful Nurgle faction. But yeah, the actual demons of Nurgle, not not particularly powerful mechanics. Argaleb and Duin did a $10 subject. Is Valkyr a poverty pack version of Scarbrand? No. No, just different type of corn. <laughs> Just a different flavor of corn, really. Thanks for super chat. Alright, well, we own half of the victory points now. Elmer Tsai became men for 21 months. Legend, do you think? Smiley face. Thanks for the stream. Yes. Thanks for super chat. All these guys here babysitting Archeon. Squicky did a 5,000 NOK super chat. I feel like that's heaps. Hang on. Let me, let me just read this out first. Thanks for getting me through countless hours of boring office work, Legend. Uh, learned a lot from Total War from you. Thanks for keeping... Keep making amazing streams and videos. Thanks, that's really generous, I think. Let me just confirm. I don't know how much NOK is to Australian dollars. I kind of feel like that's a lot of money. Oh my god, it's 700 Australian dollars. <laughs> what? Why? But thanks for the super chats. My, my, my content's not worth that much. Oh shit, I might as well just log off. I just made 700 bucks. <laughs> no, that's super generous of you, dude. I appreciate it. Thanks, thanks so much. Super Need for Sleep did a 5... That, uh, five pounds to be Hey, legend, good. Yes. Thanks to be chat. Damn. That's that's way more than I deserve. Zam, strip it this time more. Yeah. Hey, Legend, do I need to poo? <laughs> no, you don't. Hold it in. Eternally. No, look. Uh, yeah, whatever. Is it worth it to pay 4k for a non-aggression pack with the Slaneshi faction while playing as Kairos? Uh, that is up to you. But I would consider doing that, yeah. I'd actually consider that. See if you can dupe them into paying less. But yeah, I don't like going to war with them to begin with. Some people do, but I don't. Right, we're not going to get ahead of that.
What is your favorite Chaos Dwarf unit to use? <sighs> Drazoath the Ashen? Or Dreadquake Mortar Iron Demons? I love the Dreadquake Mortar Iron Demons. But legend, they use up two slots, not one! <laughs> Does it matter? Does it matter? They're so good. Yeah, Dreadquake Mortar Iron Demon is probably my favorite. But legend, what about this other unit? Like they like their entire roster is really good. They don't have any bad troops. But yeah, the Iron Demon Dreadquake Mortar, that is something special. Blunderbuss? Yeah, that's another yeah, that's another good one. Like I said, they're all good units. It's got a very satisfying roster where even their trash units are satisfying just because when they die, you don't care, which makes it satisfying. Um, Lebregostoso did a 10 euro video. Showing some support for my favorite Australian couple. Go Mr. and Mrs. Legend. Uh, thank you for all your content. Love from Austra Austria. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Thanks for the support. Oh, shit. This guy's not going to do a stream of corruption, is he? Oh, fuck. Get out of here. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. That's going to... Damn it, damn it, damn it! Oh, I gotta get out of there. We're winning, but this is gonna cost us a lot here. Get out. Spread out. That one spell probably did a shitload of damage, yeah. Get out of there. Don't give him the chance to do that again. It's alright, didn't get that many kills. And we're just about to win the battle, so... Oh, we're getting close at least. I think he did it again. But if we have a look... Yeah, he's only at 40 kills. That's fine. Get these armored units away, because that does a lot of armored piercing. Yeah, get, get him away. Keep it nice and relatively spread out, so... Just keep one or two units here, pinning him down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're actually not well equipped at dealing with him at all. Uh, Skadoosh Gaming did a five of dollars super chat. What factions would you like to play? So, would you play in tabletop? I wouldn't play tabletop, so it's irrelevant. Uh, Logan Devala did a ten dollars super chat. Hey, Legend, he was just sending a large gift to try and get a defensive alliance. Can I? But I can get a non-aggression pact. Um, you gotta make a judgment call, dude. I can't answer all these questions for you. It's up to you. There's no right or wrong answer. You know, a defensive alliance could be good, unless they get declared war on constantly. So, again, judgment calls. The essence of a strategy game. There are no right or wrong answers until after you've made the decision. I can't make that for you. Okay, yeah, just have the Marauders fight him. But yeah, thanks for the super chats, guys. And as always, hoarding the bloody super chats. Sorry, spamming the super chats while I'm in the middle of a battle. <laughs> it's it's alright. Alright, here we go. It's over. They'll never get here in time. Still decisive victory. The infantry took a bit of a beating when fighting that uh, dude, but at least they kept him busy. Overall, the casualties are not significant at all. But yeah, I definitely should have pulled out the infantry as soon as I saw him coming over there. I should, well, I should have kept a closer eye on him.
Warhammer 2 or Warhammer 3, which has the better sieges and why? Well, in a race to the bottom, uh, Warhammer 3 has the worst sieges. The, sorry, war, walled sieges in Warhammer 3 are the worst sieges in the history of Total War Channel. Uh, Total War Games. <laughs> Total War Channels. Right? Warhammer 3 has, without a doubt, every single other Total War that has ever existed has better walled city sieges than Total War Warhammer 3. I actually like the minor city sieges, but walled sieges, this is the worst we have ever seen. So Warhammer 2 has better sieges than Warhammer 3, but they're still pretty bad. Uh, Halen Lee did a $2 super chat. What's the difference between Iron Demon and Skullcracker? Uh, Iron Demon is like a train that has like a, a canister shot at the front. So it does a it does a choo choo poo train, <laughs> whereas a skullcracker is a melee, like a, like a melee train. Yeah, that's the big difference. Thalusa did a two dollar super chat saying good. Yes, thanks super chat, dude. Appreciate it, guys. Okay, we don't want to subjugate them. I want to occupy it. Yes. Put the souls. Yeah, I'm gonna run out of souls if this keeps up. Actually losing 75 per turn, so we need to immediately fight these guys. Dogan. Okay, and I need to... Uh, actually, I gained a fair bit of money. Oh, no, we're okay. Yeah, do that. And what about growth? Yeah, just don't recruit any more units. Close to Dorga. You guys to keep up. Alright, here we go. Uh, that's okay, did a five dollar super chat. Is this enough for non-aggression pact? Yes, you have just earned yourself. I won't declare war on you. <laughs> okay, thanks for the super chat. What makes Wormit 3 sieges the worst ever? One word. And it's always comes down to this. AI. The AI in the World Sieges is the worst in any Total War game. It is abysmally bad, the AI. It doesn't matter how... Like, the maps themselves are good. I actually like the maps for Sieges. And also, the, the actual rules for the Defender for, for Warhammer 3 Sieges, it's just total dog shit. Absolute dog shit. Let us corrupt yeah, they couldn't have done a worse job of it, really. <laughs> the AI is so bad, it's not funny. Alright, that'll do. And over here, yep, yeah, we'll keep all this stuff, and I'll put it for... Undivided. Or what else? Is there one here for public order? Oh no, there's one to reduce public order. Yeah, I'll just go with that one. Okay. Any diplomacy we can do? Ooh, Tusk Sons. Uh, Elemental Exposure did a $10 super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the super chat. Thanks for the support. Uh, Clan Ferric. Want trade Stay down that way. Um, Clan Ferric. I'll need somewhere to put my wood. <laughs> Ready. Yeah, they'll probably betray me at some point, so I'm not going that way. Okay. Alright, so looking at this province here, we want to occupy Floating Mountain. Then we want to sack Dragon's Death and occupy the Challenge Stone. That way, Dragon's Death will be the Norskan Vassal and just leave them with that. But I want to keep this one because that will give us extra construction cost reduction globally, I believe. Do I like the new or old Flamestorm better? Um, about the same. Jake Cash says, God, I missed the community before Worm 3. Every day was full of hope. Yeah, I kind of agree with you there. Does the AI still break after five minutes or is it just, uh, just two? Yeah, it's, they still seem to um, break after about five minutes. 
World Settlement, AI once clumped up so bad, one pit of shades got 800 kills, it's broken. Yes, the AI does clump up a lot in, in Walled City Sieges now. A quest has been issued, mighty yeah. lord. A great adventure beckons. And the, the pathing has become really bad as well. The potential they don't even know how to path great, through their own settlements. So are the perils. They're... They're so bad. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure the that univ actually why don't we do a poll? Everyone loves a poll. Let's start a poll. Uh Sieges in Warhammer 3 are good or bad? Simple as good bad. That's all. There is a right or wrong answer to this, by the way. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Alright, so we want to go after Dolgan now. Well, actually, I'm going after Kolek. How strong is Kolek by comparison? I am told you want to talk. How... No! Oh, wow, he's actually stronger than us. Oh, no. I could borrow this army, but it doesn't have any units in it. Uh, Colet can be a real fucking pain in the early stages of the campaign if you're not careful. Uh, Snowy did a 25 RON super chat. Hey, Legend, are you okay with the questions we're asking? I feel like some people, me too, want your opinion just to talk to you. Is it annoying? Uh, thanks for super chat. It is annoying when it is bombarded. Like when I'm in the middle of a battle and it's just like bombarded like crazy. Yes, that is annoying. You can still do it, but it, I don't. I don't really like it. Um, and also, some questions I just can't answer, and I don't like those kind of questions that are just super vague. So, try to keep your questions as specific as possible. Otherwise, I just I can't answer them. You know? Hey, legend, should I get a non-aggression pact or defensive alliance? I don't fucking know. <laughs> the gods direct me. All right, I'll need to force march. Still a little, uh, yeah, okay. There's nothing here. We shall weave the face. No! Yeah, I think I'm gonna need every bloody trooper I can get. No, it's chaos! My lord, Sin a glorifying act for chaos. This has come. Yeah. Well, we're still making some money. Well, legend, you gotta spend money to make money. <laughs> Henry Shevlin today, five pounds super jet. Good to see you, legend. Finally started Realms of Chaos and finding it pretty fun. Guess it's improved a lot since launch. Uh, no, not really. Are you, so are you playing the Realms of Chaos campaign with one of the base game lords, or are you playing it with like Chaos Dwarfs? Because if you're if you're playing it with the Chaos Dwarfs or the Warriors of Chaos, then the Realms of Chaos campaign is fine. The actual missions for the Realms of Chaos, they're the ones that suck. Just got here, is there a reason we're taking the small settlements versus giving them to vassals? If they've got a tradable resource, then you wanna you wanna make use of it. If there's no tradable resource, then you give it to a vassal. So this has got marble. If we have a look at this one, right, that gives us extra ammunition for Marauder Horsemen. And then that not that might not seem like much, but it stacks. And this one here will give us reduced construction costs. All right, let's have a look at this. If we're lucky, he weakened himself. Let's have a look. Nope, he only got stronger. He's only got one settlement, but he is fighting the Tusk Sun, so hopefully that'll keep him busy. He'll likely just immediately send forces towards us. So we'll probably need to send our hero here to scout ahead. I may need to set up a trap for him. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Done deal. <laughs> Done deal. All right, that'll give us a bit of sight about what's going on. Mm, that should belong to me. That's salt. Hmm. So there's nine units sitting in here, and Kolek, I don't know, he's probably around here somewhere. What? Uh, I think we can get away with some auto resolve here. Yeah. yeah. No, don't. We're okay for souls. Now, we need to make sure that we recruit everything in this area here to prevent Kolek from... Oh, my God. <laughs> prevent Kolek from recruiting from it. Oh, I can't afford this. That's really expensive. Uh, SKN912 did a $5 super jet. Hi, Legend. If I wipe that array so they come back when Ultimate Crisis start, will you stream Diablo 4? Have a nice stream. Wish all the best. Uh, probably not going to stream Diablo 4. And they sometimes come back, they sometimes don't. It depends on which faction. So greenskin factions don't come back. Dwarf and Skaven factions do come back. So it just, it just depends. Uh, thanks to the chat. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's go... Yes. I'll take that just to make sure that Kolek doesn't get it. This will probably put me in the red. Let's take that one. Alright, so from here, if we were to build the marble resource, yeah, reduce construction cost minus 5% for all buildings faction-wide. Which stacks. Hmm. Uh, Logan Davala did a $5 super chat. Hey, Legend, I wasn't talking about in-game defensive alliance. talking about the big super chat. I guess I can assume you declined my non-aggression pact. Okay, thank you, super chat, dude. Um, yeah, it's hard to get context. I only get like a few seconds to read whatever your statement is, and you're being silly, so that's fine. Um, Squicky became a new member. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Yeah, look, another thing, guys, with your super chats is that I will not linger on any of your questions for any more than a couple of seconds. So if you're going to put something like really confusing or cryptic, I'm just going to glaze right over it. Okay, because there's so many people in the chat and there's so many questions. I don't have time to sit there and have like a 10 minute conversation with one person. It'll just bore the shit out of everyone else. Um, Rex Teresia did an MYR6 super chat. What do you think of the sieges in Valheim? There are no sieges in Valheim, but uh, I guess they're good, I guess. Thanks, Super Chat. All right, what do I want here? Flaming Sword of Ruin or... Yeah, I'll go with that. Excellent. Yeah, that'll be useful in the coming fight, I think. Yes, my ruinous powers! Okay, I think we got some tough fights up ahead. These guys here have got 18 units sitting there, so I'm going to be having a big fight against Norska. And then Kolek will be coming up as well. Then that's likely just full of garbage units, but if I'm damaged going into the fight, that's not going to be good. Alright. These guys over here can give me some reinforcements fairly soon. I just got to wait for them to actually recruit an army. Uh, Malingard did a five dollars super chat. Who is the strongest Lizardman legendary lord faction in the game at the moment? Are Lizardmen a strong race for the player in Warhammer 3? Yeah, they're pretty strong. Tehenowin is definitely the, the most powerful, for sure. Dragon Ogres and Archeon's army. It doesn't really matter. He doesn't boost them. Except for a 5% ward save. 
which I mainly recruited them so that um, Kolek doesn't get them because he boosts them. I'm not making much tribute from vassals, so we'll go with that. Alright, we've caught up a little bit to Kolek, just by a tiny, tiny little bit. I don't think I can borrow this army, can I? I could. Well, why would I want to? And how are we going over here? Tribesmen. Hmm. Uh, the Chaos 907 became a member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. And Jacob Borger Halson uh, did a ISK 3000 super chat. Hey, Legend, love your content. Looking forward to watching the stream. All right, thanks, dude. Thanks for your su first super chat. Appreciate that. Okay, and we need to we need to scout ahead a little bit so I don't get ahead of myself. Okay. Let me do this. Okay. I seize, I move. All right, Kolak is on the way. Okay. All right, Kolak's army is pretty strong. He's rank eleven, and we're rank eight. God, he's probably only fought one battle. I think we should set up a trap for this dude. So that I can afford some more troops next turn. Okay, so what if you stay here and you stay here and Archeon stay here in ambush dance? Hang on, is there better better places for an ambush dance? Let me just check horrendous. Archeon stays there in ambush dance. I'll transfer this into him. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, he's within range, and there's enough room here to actually ambush him. Okay. Cool. And Kolek will move first, so he might just force uh, forced march right to here. And then next turn, we just recruit everything that we can, and hopefully we get a whole bunch of money from beating that shit out of these guys here. And I kind of need this guy to go back if possible. Maybe recruit another lord? No. No, don't bother about building that right now. Okay, we got a we got a rough turn incoming here. I think, infertile march, four turns. I do I do want that gift, but I think we need that extra campaign moving range. All right, let's move on. Uh, Elemental exposure did a five dollar super chat. So much sunlight on your left. Can't wait for a chort legendary run. Uh, okay, thanks super chat. I've already covered the troughs, and yeah, it's just daytime, so sunlight comes through the window. See, previously I always streamed at night. All right, what's he doing? Yeah. If we're lucky, these guys will go after us here. We'll be able to easily smash them. And that'll give us enough money to pay for a whole bunch of troops. Give me more. More. Because I need this money. There's plenty to recruit. Alright, do it. Just stab him in the back later.
70% chance. Yeah! Gotcha. Alright, an order resolve will yield, I think, pretty good results. The garrison is going to get smashed, but we'll wipe out their entire army, and I think it'll spread out the casualties really well. Maybe a little bit more damage than I expected, but most of it is uh, on the Marauders. The point here is that it's got us a fair bit of... Oh, I can get some replenishment. But it might be better to just get money. So that I can actually just buy better troops. And now Kolek is sitting there. By himself. In ambush... Uh, in force march stance. And we've got... We've got more troops in him. Alright, let's have a look here. Yeah, we didn't fully recover, but with the money that we gained, we can get all of these troops here, which I wasn't able to afford last turn. And I think bonus versus large for Archeon sounds like a good thing. Alright, you come stand now. Go into encamp stance, get some more melee defense. Attach this guy in here. Good. Now is chaos. You as well. Now, Don't make the attack just yet. Alright, let's see. Evasion would be good. Yep, need to get that speed melee defense up. I feel like we're going to need it in this coming battle. You, yeah, you need that melee defense. And you... Penumbral Pendulum could be okay. Enfeebling Foe actually might be better in this scenario. Just debuff the hell out of um, him. Let's have a look at our items as well. What do we got? Garbage. Yeah, take this. Yeah, it's all garbage. Okay. And then we need to recruit everything that we possibly can. Cool, we can auto resolve it, which yields. Oh my god. Perfectly acceptable result. <laughs> nice. Yeah, nice spread out casualties there. No deleted units. Cool, and I'll take all that. Fuse items? Nah, I wouldn't get anything good. Possibly. It's alright, it'll work out. Well, and we got Dorgo now. Things aren't looking too good for Kolek right about now. We're likely not seeing him again because I'll confederate him. Alright. Yes. Cool. So now we want to rush down here and beat their oh we've we're quite badly damaged. Oh well. Um yeah, we want to get over here and beat him quickly so we can confederate him and subjugate these guys. But I also want this settlement for myself. It's not essential, but salt is pretty good. Actually, one of the better battles of all time. <laughs> well, I didn't need, didn't need to do anything. Order resolve was fine. Okay, and let's upgrade this settlement there and this one. Cool. All right, I got a little bit of money, but we'll fight over here. These guys will. I don't know if they'll they'll go back to the settlement, but we don't want to occupy that. No. All right, we got some levels up to do. Merge units? Mm, if we're going to merge units, we should do it next turn. How's our magic reserves going? Okay. Um, I think I want... I don't like Purple Son of Xerius. I don't mind Transmutation of Lead. The storm of chaos gathers. Despoilers come! 
The gods smile. My prayers are answered. You dare! A glorifying act! Alright. That worked out really well. Have you run into the level up crash yet? No, I haven't. I don't know what that is. Uh, Malignard did a five dollar super chat. Who is the best, most powerful unit buff mechanics between Throt the Unclean, Ica Claw, and the Chaos Dwarves and Grom the Paunch? Probably the Chaos Dwarves. Uh, Elemental Exposure. Oh no, Throt the Unclean is pretty powerful with it. It's one of those two. Elemental Exposure did twenty five dollar super chat. Just you're one of the better streamers of all time. Okay, I appreciate that you think so. Thanks for super chat. Okay, so that poll's been active for a little bit. We've got 1,583 votes. 22% of people say that sieges are good in Wormer 3, and 78% say it's bad. So therefore, it's not really conclusive. <laughs> not really conclusive. Now, if we want to prevent Kolek from recovering, we should tr really try to recruit as much as we can. Because that way he c won't be able to get them. There's no one sitting in there. We don't we don't have to sack this. What? I don't need the money. Oh no, if look if It might be best to just get down here as quickly as possible. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, don't worry about sacking I'm Dragon's Death. Slaughter. You're not going to get any recovery over the end turn. If I go into encamp stance, yeah, it's not going to work either. Channeling stance, yeah, this is going to be a bit of magic. I'll still make it there. Okay, let's go do that. Uh, Jacob Borgar Palson became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that support. And Vectalis did a $20 in the chat. Hey, legend. Missed the live streams. Love to catch the random streams. Keep on being the legend. No, it's dude, my pleasure. Thanks for the chat. Yeah, I, I get that people miss them, but honestly, my life has gotten a lot better since... Yeah, <laughs> since I ditched them. You know, I'm a lot happier now. It's night and day last year compared to now. And doing the live streams just whenever I feel like it, and doing it maybe once a week or once a month, it's way healthier than sort of forcing myself to do it every single day, which I think was part of the problem. People were... While people might miss the live streams now, people were really starting to dislike the live streams because I wasn't happy. I just did... I just couldn't make it work. And this is working now. Yeah. This is definitely working. Will this campaign be uploaded to the channel? Yes. I think so. If you behave. Rome 2 Sieges are pretty trash too. Hmm. I'm not a big fan of Rome 2 Sieges, so I agree with you, but not to the same extent as they are bad in this game. Ah, you freaking move back here. Son of a bitch. Understandable. You sounded quite stressed in some of the vids. Oh, yeah, for sure I was. I was super stressed out. My, like, the entirety of last year, I was pretty miserable. Like, the whole, the whole way through. This year is so much better. I think Chaos Dwarves was like a good start to the year. We've, we've mostly had good start to the year. You know, and even CA is actually putting in some effort now with me, which is good. It's... I'm not used to it. Like, they promoted one of my videos on Twitter. I was like, wow, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't ask them to do it. 
They actually followed me on Twitter. I've been trying to get the Total War official Twitter to follow me for like... Yeah, he's going for there, but... He'll be mine soon. I've been trying to get them to follow me for like... I don't know, five years. And they wouldn't do it. And then they suddenly did. So... Seems like they're putting in effort, so that's good. So I really don't have any bone to pick with CA at the moment. For the first time in a while, which is nice. Because I don't enjoy fighting them. Alright. Now, one of the good things about this situation is that we should have Kolek confederated with his original wound time. So it should he should be back in like three turns. And I'll give him the Dragon Ogres from here. Of course, I wiped out his other Dragon Ogre army. Um, we're still dealing with a lot here, but the AI is so bad that we should be fine. Could merge these guys, but we don't want to lose experienced marauders, so maybe merge them. I don't have enough money. Ooh, this would be good. Let me see if I can finagle some cash somewhere. Slaughter the sheep. Mm. No. How's this going over here? Alright, so these guys here, they'll probably declare war on us soon. I don't really worry about that too much. Um, UK Rocket did a 5 super chat. I miss your streams, but weirdly enough, these sporadic streams are enough. And you sound happy or glad for you, man. We'll take what we can get. Yep, that's your only option. <laughs> Thanks for super chat. Mm, I don't really want to negotiate with these guys, but I might be able to Enter get then. some cash out of them. Are you after a drink, enough. a fist fight, or both? Mm, that's not enough. Don't worry about it then. A lot of stuff to do this battle without the uh, aspiring champions. Anyway, we got Dorgo, so I might just be able to cheese this battle anyway. Elemental Exposure did a. Five dollars super chat. Is there any? Sorry, is there a pending announcement regarding your return to the CA Creator thingy? No, not at this stage. Yeah, look, I've, I've been talking to CA about it, and it's a case of we'll see how we go. Um, it seems like the current state of the conversation is like Creative Assembly want me to trust them, but I don't. <laughs> I just don't. So I don't know how we're going to rectify that situation. I, I'll like I'll still work with them. I'll still work with them, but. But as for like trusting CA, nah, no, never, never, <laughs> never. Uh, okay, I want all fast units in the army, so I'm gonna take the faster stuff, and you can have the that one. I don't want that anymore. All right, let's use this. I'm probably not going to use it, but... Yeah, I'm not going to fuse anything else. Alright, here we go. Uh, Tim Playsons did a $20 super chat. Great to see you during the USA evening time. Appreciate all that you do. No worries, dude. My pleasure. Thanks for super chat. Alright, put that down there. So, Doko, he's at... Hang on, actually, I might be better off putting it on this one, so they can keep up. Yeah, that way their speeds will be similar. That's what we want. Alright, looking at their army, what is the weak point in their army? I reckon speed. This is a need for speed. How fast are you? 78 speed and 78 speed. Okay. Yeah. This is a battle that will be won on speed. Power Legend uses speed! Uh, Chosen Blade did a $5 super chat. Thank you. Thanks for all the content over the years. Your content got me into the Warhammer series and your videos are a huge boon to the community. All right, thanks. I'm glad that you think that. That's, that's good. So if we manage to win this battle here, Kolek will be confederated. And we'll vassalize the Dolgan. And then the next question is whether or not to head east, which I kind of want to do, and subjugate. Yeah, let's go fight Zatan the Black and go and get Village. 
Go and get the village, idiot. Okay, this is not the easiest settlement to cheese. Alright. Infantry stay here, where the reinforcements are going to come in. Okay, the towers shouldn't be able to reach us from here. Okay, okay, I, got, I think I got it. I am going to use these guys here to go around the other way. There's no trees for me to hide in. Yeah, and these guys are going to go the other way. Okay, let's go. You go that way. The towers here are not strong, so don't worry about that. And the fast units go that way. Actually, they put all their units at the back. So I'm actually just going to go punch through the front. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't even need to do that. Um, actually, I'll put this down here. I want to smash. We can smash that hero if he stops friggin' moving. Stay put, stay put, stay put. Yes! <laughs> I killed him. <laughs> uh, yeah, come around this way, Archeon. Forgot I had that ability. So yeah, the heroes that are up on the wall, if you pop down the, uh, if you destroy the wall while they're standing there, it'll kill them outright. Where did CA hurt you, Legend? Oh, in many ways. It doesn't matter. It, things are healing. It's alright. It's in the past now. Things are healing. But yeah, I'm not going to trust them. Speaking of which, where's that fucking roadmap, huh? Oh yeah, roadmap, it's coming in April. What's today? <laughs> where's that roadmap? Alright, reinforcements are arriving. What we need to do here is draw all of their forces to the front and then go cap the town square. What I'll do to draw them to the front is start capping their points and start annoying them as much as possible. And we'll start bringing our forces in through here. Alright, let's bring them in. Okay, the faster units can go around that way. I'm gonna actually use a control group because it's getting messy. Have you kept an eye on Age of Wonders 4? No, I've not been paying attention to it whatsoever. Oh yeah, these guys here, they can run around with Archeon and, and friends, because they're fast, single entities. So I'll put these guys here in control group 3. Yeah, you guys hang back for now. Them. them. Yes. 
Yeah, we'll just keep bombing them over here because that's that's doing really well for us. Oh, uh, the severed claw. Okay, large units should stay away from that. We should get just the infantry to go sort that out. Blobbing up should be okay. I don't think it's going to matter. All right, let's pop that into control group four. And this will be control group five. <laughs> control groups, yay. Question, is this the worst patch ever for Total Warhammer, or does the Vampire Coast release still take the cake? Um, I actually think the patch is fine, it just introduced a lot of bugs. It, it did improve... It's a double-edged sword, every patch does this, they introduce a lot of bugs, performance goes down sometimes, but they fix a lot of things, so it's just... I don't think it was necessarily a bad patch, like, I'm enjoying the game a lot more than I was before, but... I can't ignore the fact that the AI is so bad. Okay. Okay, okay. I can't really get them inside. The garrison is too concentrated. Let's move around to another area. Just for now. This is working out just fine here. Archeon's getting loads of kills. The Severed Claw, they're not doing that much damage. They're a very dangerous regiment of renown. This is so far going really well. Okay, you two come around over this way. I know I've got another one of these, but I'm just waiting for a good opportunity to use it, which isn't really presented itself just yet. Okay, now that the enemy forces are thinned out a little bit, this could be a good opportunity to push for the uh, for the uh, central plaza. Bring these guys back over here, because these guys are moving out of the way soon. Alright, Severed Claw have been beat up enough that we can send in the large units now without too much concern. Any comment on a regular streaming, streaming schedule? Yes, there will not be a regular streaming uh, schedule. It'll be completely random. It'll simply be, every now and again, I'll just show up, you'll get no warning. Because, honestly, 20 minutes prior to me live streaming this, I had no idea if I was going to live stream it. So, you just need to follow me on social media. Oh, shit! Who did that? Was that you? Yes, it was. I need to stop that. Downside of blobbing. Okay. Spread out, guys. Spread out. Yeah, that is not going to be anywhere near as bad, that one. Alright, that's fine. Move. Yeah, that's fine. We need to kill this dude. We need to get at him. Getting one cast on a blob's not too bad. But multiple will hurt us big time. Okay. Oh, hello, Hell Cannon. I'm going to go eat you. Cool. Are we going over here? Done? Okay. Need to go cap points. Go cap this one over here. Move. 
move. Um, I got it too late there. Sorry, it wasn't too bad. Okay, good. Hell cannon smashed. I am the only constant. Let's get these guys up through here. Yeah, let's go around it. Elemental exposure did a final super chat. And his badly damaged move back. Uh, what is the best social to follow you on? Twitter is already poisonous. Um, I only use Twitter and YouTube, so there's no other one that you can use. I don't post on Facebook anymore. I got sick of Facebook a long time ago. Where'd my other cavalry unit go? Oh, I just got there first. Yeah, that's all, you, that's all you can do. And I totally get about Twitter being poisonous. I get it. But if you filter out all the shit, Twitter can be very useful for releasing updates to your followers. And that's the only reason I really use it. Yeah, spending too many hours on, t well, spending too long on Twitter every day will definitely rot your brain. Both. Oh, oh! If we own all capping points at the same time, we instantly win. We don't need this. We're about to own all the points all at once. Quick, get capture this! Quick, 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 quick! Before these two here get captured, we won't need this to fill up. There we go. We won. Watch, because we own all the points. Uh, Kendrick White said, Tendal Super Shed. Hey, Legend, love the content. Do you prefer Bellacore or Archeon for a fun Chaos Warrior Legendary campaign? Um, I kind of prefer Bellacore, but only by a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Didn't need it to fill up. Cool. There we go. Cool. Minimal casualties. You think they should get rid of auto resolve? I feel like I just use it because I can. If you get rid of auto resolve, then you will. It'll kill the number of players that actually play this game. The vast majority of people who play Total War Warhammer are casuals. They play on like normal difficulty and they auto resolve their entire campaigns because they actually don't know how to fight battles. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you get rid of auto resolve, that would be very bad for Total War. And if you were to say disable auto resolve just for legendary difficulty, all you'd be doing is making it super grindy. The whole point of auto resolve is to get rid of grind. Because I'll be honest with you, I hate these sieges. They're crap. I'd auto resolve every single walled siege if I could, but I know I can do a much better job manually. Okay. So, we want to enforce confederation. Yep. That gives us the Dolgan. And could you give me that settlement, you bitch? No, I might have to get off of him later. It's not that important, though. Alright, cool. And if we have a look here, Kolek is available in... Oh, I thought it would reset it. Uh, well, not reset it, but yeah, anyway. Five turns until he comes back. It also doesn't knock the settlement down a level, so that's good. Cool. Those are buildings that are okay. Next stop, these guys over here. Time to go fight some Chaos Dwarfs. Jeez! Oh, I could be because I'm damaged. 
So yeah, we wanted them to have this one, because it's of no value to me, but I want that one because I want the salt. Northman come. Yeah, you're coming with me. Without doubts, marauding. You have my promise. Alright, well, make money again, so that's good. And we can pop down that. My fellow warlords converge. Yeah, they Do hate the me. and Tong come south. That's fine. Could make Grimgor Ironhide a vassal. That could be interesting. <laughs> also, we're due for the endgame crisis to trigger, whatever that might be, real soon. Could be green skins. That'd be interesting. Um, well, we'd lose a lot of ground. Yeah, I'm going to go fight Zatan the Black. Let's go over here and smash him. Also, another thing about sieges, which I can see just from like my own analytics here. When we fought that walled siege, we lost about 100 viewers. And immediately after it was over, we regained those 100 viewers. So... Even from a viewing point of view, walled sieges suck. I'll need to put defenses here, because these guys here will probably yeah, declare war on me the moment they're done with the bloody sword, which won't take too much longer. But I don't really care that much if we don't hold on to the writhing fortress. I'll do what I can, but I'm not really too focused on it. By the eldritch I see, the gods smile, spirits of war. My prayers are answered. Syrians are guides me. Uh, the Grand Marshal of Chaos. That's good. Let's do that. And what else we got? Reduced upkeep co cost for Chaos Warrior units. Melee defense and physical resistance for Chaos Chosen. I'll probably get that eventually. Speed for Chaos Knights. No, I'm not going to get that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. But I can't recruit them just yet, so... I don't have any chosen, do I? No. And... Ascend to Demonhood. It requires all four of those anyway. Because, yeah, we definitely want the demonic. Alright, I'll just grab this then. That'll save me a little bit of cash. So I've at least got those units. Okay, and another level up here. And let's get a fourth lord. Let's see. So, we'll make the Shadow Dude. This guy's going to eventually be a Nurgle Dude. This guy here is for corn, Which means I need a Metal Wizard that'll turn into a... Or I could make it Fire. Turn into a Zinch one. Alright. Alright, you're coming with as well. Alright, start making our way over here. If we have a look at his territory, he's got five settlements, so it looks like he just took out the Kazags. So his forces are all the way over here. So by the time he realizes what's going on, he'll probably have picked a fight with Cathay at that point anyway. Okay, cool. Alright, and we're going to level up over here. Let's get that going. Cool, and let's move on. Alright, upgrading this for more cash. So that'll give us 200 extra cash. Don't really need that. What about a wizard? Let's have a look. I'm out of cash. Okay, never mind. Moving on. Are you going to go for a aspiring champion stack? Yeah, sure. I just need the money and time to get the stuff going. I'm more focusing on rushing certain factions at the moment. 
like Kolek taking him out really early I think was good well, he's not taken out he's confederated so now we're going to go for village but we've got to go through Zatan the black and then well the end game crisis will trigger soon so we have to see what that's going to be Quest battle, yeah. Don't worry about them right now. Andrew Matthews did a five pence super chat. Have never played Chaos Warriors. What do I need to get confederations? You can only get a confederation when playing as Archeon or Bellacor, and you have to capture their final settlement. And you force confederate them when that happens. All right, we need to force march if we want to attack that next turn because I'll be at full strength. Ooh, 15 units sitting in here. Because, yeah, their Chaos Undivided Corruption is going to help us out. Right, so if we have a look at them at the moment... Okay, we're equal strength for them. So, yeah, we just needed a turn to replenish, and that made all the difference there, I think. I don't think this is going to be any serious challenge. So, this settlement here has no real value to us, so we should transfer it over to the Dolgan. Yeah, because, like, this is a Dolgan area. We'll obviously occupy the Volary. I wish there were some landmarks for Warriors of Chaos, but I don't think there is. And uh, we'll just see how we go as we progress. Alright, technology. We've got Infernal March. That's awesome. Now, we wanted to get a Nurgle gift, the one that provides growth every time we fight a battle. That's really good, that one. In the early stages of the campaign. So let's get Profane Weaponry. Yep, because that's the closest one there. That'll also give us another gift. That's fine. So, it doesn't tell you. Oh yeah, it does tell you the tribute, but it doesn't add it correctly. Vents and Vassal Tribute, 100. So do I have four vassals? No. So where is that Vents and Vassal? Is that extra 25 coming from? Because I get 25 for each soul of uh, each faction vassaled. Oh no. Let's have a look at diplomacy real quick. There is one landmark in Zad Nangrud, and I think that's it. Oh, there is a landmark there? Okay. Well, that's good. I'll go and check that out. Northman Kang! I think what's happened is that technically, um, Colex faction has actually become my vassal as well. Oh yeah, I forgot about them. <laughs> Doesn't matter, they had to move. Does Valkyr get Infernius landmark for blood letters? I don't think so. Colex counts as a vassal? Right, yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, if that's the case, we should make our way down to Tsar Nagarind at some point and see about grabbing that as a landmark. How will they prevent Grimgore from getting that early tier 5? What nerf could they implement? Um, probably make it so that you can't just teleport to the back of the enemy settlement like that. I kind of want to attack them later. There's also a landmark in Shiyama's Rest in Cathay. Gives all troops plus four melee attack when fighting all the forces. Okay, that's cool. Possible to get because it requires tier three. Oh, yeah. Typical. Typical. A 
overrun the world. Also, guys, I'm working on a really cheesy Chaos Wolf video. It's taken me a few days to get it sorted, but you guys will love it, I think. If you like cheese, you'll love this. And there'll be so many people, Oh my god! They're gonna nerf this for sure! <laughs> Which, yeah, they will. Shut up. Oh. The wild hunt is the endgame crisis. So, wood elves. Interesting. Okay. Alright, well, that means Dryker could be a bit of a presence at some point. Alright, if we have a look at their strength ranking, we are about equal. So I think we can order resolve this if we just have a look to see if there's any... There's, there is... Okay, there is some fairly large forces sitting at the Volary. That means there's 30 units, so they've got either 20 here or 10. But yeah, they do have a lot of force. Um, this one here is a outpost, so very easy to win that. Should I auto it? I think I'll be alright. Yeah, auto will be fine. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Cash is nothing. Right. Right, okay. I couldn't just give this over to the uh, Dolgan. So what we do here is we sack it. You could occupy it. And then just sell it to them. Always ready for a headbutting contest. What's it called again? Granite spikes. Thank you. It's done. I have Baja Morse. Can I have it back? Yes. <laughs> How about you give me Blizzard Peak? I wanted that one. Now, come on, man. Hang on. Hang on. All right. Granite spikes. Give this back. Understood. And how about Blizzard Peak? And you can have Granite Spikes back. <sighs> okay. Not. I'm gonna have to figure something out with that. <laughs> Without doubt. Uh. I don't know. Oh. Sort of changes all right. Let's give that to you. Oh, he's got a helm of discord. I'll take that, Kolek, because you can't use it right now. If I was going to make this guy anything, the Nurgle one is way better than... Yeah, too, uh, too costly in terms of the souls at the moment. I need the souls for other things. Maybe later. Okay, off. Spirit of Morka. Yeah, I need to get to Ascension of Demonhood. Alright, can we... Can we upgrade these guys here? Must be rank 5. Okay, well they're getting there. They're getting there at least. Alright, we've got a thousand gold. Should we recruit some shit? Problem is, we don't really know what we're going up against, but next turn when we launch the attack... Actually, assuming I can reach there. It says here I can't reach. Uh, it's a little bit risky, but I'm going to force march because I'm just not really that concerned about them. And hopefully we can launch the attack on the Volary next turn. Yeah, force march with all of them. They don't do ambush attacks, so it's fine. Okay, cool. It's the ten units there. Ah, crap. 
That guy can't make it. Alright, I'll pick up a few extra units. Let's see, what do you want? How about some trolls? Yeah, but Legend, I thought you hate trolls! Oh, Marauders are good too. I'll take those. Cool. Alright, Writhing Fortress is going to need some defenses, but I don't have any money. Because I just spent it. True savages. Uh, I don't see myself going down here anytime honest, soon. I'll just try to get some I'd cash out of it. No, but you have my time. I submit. Delectable. Ambush was just one visible small army showing. No, I don't have enough movement to do that. I forced marched so that I could actually get there next turn, because I like to be aggressive. I can't put any of them in ambush dance. You need a boom. Don't have enough movement. By the outrage, I, see. I mean, they'd be great in theory, but I'm not too concerned about their armies. I'm, I just want to attack them quickly. But Legend, you said to never force march near enemies. Yeah, I said for you guys to never force march near enemies. I can do it. <laughs> here we go, let's have a look. What's going to happen here? Looks like it's chaos versus chaos, dwarves. Humans versus dwarves. It's not really humans, whatever. And they didn't. They didn't launch the attacks, so it's fine. Tradition dictates or blood and fire? You can go either one, but tradition dictates is better. In my opinion. Is that the sun on your face? Yes, it is. How is Boris not declaring war by now? Lol. Probably because my strength ranking is too high. Typically speaking, the AI will act pretty cowardly. They'll wait until their strength ranking is overwhelmingly higher than yours. Or they will wait for a good opportunity, which hasn't shown up yet. I don't know. Uh, Sly did become a member for 35 months. Hey, Legend, good to see you on. I wanted to say that I greatly appreciate your hard work to all of your fans. No worries, dude. I appreciate you guys as well. Thanks for Zoom chat. Uh, membership. Alright, what do we got? Unit experience gain or character experience gain? I feel right now character experience gain is more important. It looks like they may have run away from the Volary. Maybe. This is why I force march, they'd actually be able to reach it this turn. Yeah, they ran away. <laughs> brave, 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 so bloody AI. Oh no, the player is coming! Run away! <laughs> please, please player, don't fight me! I won't hold on to this defensible area. Let's go here, so we need a force march, which will leave a weakness over the end turn. Oh yeah. Bring in some quality there. Wow, the, those two armies are useless for dealing with me. Because we could just blob up and... Yeah, just blob up and use magic on them. Normally, I wouldn't order resolve this, but. <laughs> now, here's a big thing. There's a bit of a trap set up for us here. If I end turn right now, they'll screw me over because they've got two armies. They'll besiege the settlement with this army and attack my force march army with the other one. So, to stop that, all I do is take this army and stand right there. 
Because now if they besiege this one, no big deal. In fact, that actually works in my favor. The only way that they can get the upper hand on me now is if they attack this guy here and for some reason my garrison shows up. So what I do now is don't give them that chance. <laughs> so now they can't do anything to me because you can only have four armies in total and now I have four armies in total because this one here counts. So this means that there is nothing that they can do to screw me over in this situation. Absolutely nothing. When's Kolak coming? Is it, is it now yet? I'll just recruit that guy later. So Kolak comes back in two turns. Okay, you come down here we go. So Zatan the Black is, he is standing over here. So they might force march over here and try to launch the attack with all three armies. They might actually do that. All right, and then over here, let's, oh, I got no money. I need to get a, an actual proper battle in. Watch 100 viewers leave the stream. Yeah, that's why I auto resolved it. Because you're exactly right. <laughs> oh, what's that? A fucking walled siege? I'm out of here. Of course. Right. If I can auto resolve a siege, I will. Because they're shit. Okay, you've actually got enough movement. I could put you into ambush stance. Alright, let's see if they'll launch the attack on Archeon. Alright, you need to be a bit more over this way. You've got to be within their zones of control. Yeah, we'll see if that ha works there. Because I'm, I'm down to clown. Let's fight. That's also Dolgan. Yeah, we'll give that to Dolgan as well because there's no good resources. So at least this way they give us some money. Alright, let's move on. <laughs> brave, brave Chaos Dwarfs right there. Very brave. I mean, they just, just they did just have laborers, so fair enough to them. Grimgore's more powerful than us. Astrogoth will probably beat these guys. It may have been a bad idea to sign a defensive alliance with them in hindsight. CA has somehow man made the Siege AI even worse in the last update. Yes, they have, yeah. that's. I don't know how they could have made it worse. But yes, they absolutely did. I've noticed that. Okay. Codex coming back next turn. Hmm. What should I get? Third Eye of Zinch. Alright. Oh, look at this. He gets his movement. Because he's on a mount now. Okay, if I stand here... Ooh... Is that Zatan is there? Oh my god. It is just like, shit city. Holy crap. Death magic. Hushit magic. Hushit magic. Ooh. 
I kind of feel as if I attack this one here that they'll still run away. Unless I pull some troops out of this. Alright, let's try this. What I'm going to do... I'm going to take away some good units that he just doesn't need in this particular fight. Oh no, I'll, t I'll keep them for after the battle's over. Yeah, they're quick, I'll keep that. Okay, making Archeon's army a bit weaker so that maybe they'll stand and fight here now. There's a 10. Oh <laughs> wow, auto resolve win. Uh, okay. This is what I wanted. Who's ready to have some nice crispy laborers? I'm gonna burning head them all. Black Legend, Chaos Dwarfs have fire resistance. What I'll do is I'll send Archeon and Prince Ograx to try to take out the heroes first, the enemy lords. And these guys here hold a defensive position over Shmyar and get ready for the green tide to come in and just get smashed by us. So create a nice big blob so they blob up and we will smash them with magic. Now these ones here, I would have preferred to have hidden them. But I can't hide them anywhere, so just stand over there. These guys, I'm just using them to run down the enemy when they've inevitably lost the battle. Ooh, spirit leeching me. Overcast and mist. Okay. When do you think it's likely we'll see some Cathay DLC? They definitely feel like the least finished faction right now. I agree. And I don't know. And soon. <laughs> I don't know. But you are right. They definitely feel like the least finished faction. Can't kill this lord. Kill him. Come on, don't run him off the battlefield. You have to kill him. Did you do it? Okay, it looks like he's dead. Good job. This one's over here. And this is a, should be a Hashut one.
You gotta admire this one laborer that's like, no, don't kill my general. Ready for some crispy laborers. This will probably get them to start. Oh, I should have turned over here. Okay. One more lord to wipe out. Idiots out of my way. We don't want to waste all of our magic before the real fight begins. Okay, these guys over here, we don't want them in combat until the end of the battle, but it looks like they might actually try to push us off the map. <laughs> no way to escape. Alright, I'm going to try just squeezing one unit through at a time. Get around their back. There we go. All right, now we got to get them back over this way. Get these through this gap. So we're using old vampire count techniques here. Now, another thing that we've got to be careful about is burning head, of course, backfiring on us. We really don't want that to happen. Nah, just charge him. We'll be fine. Even if they surround us, it's not going to do anything. Keep these two in the center.
crispy laborers. Jack Flanagan did a five dollar super chat. Thanks for the perfect ending to my weekend here in the US. No worries, dude. My pleasure. Thanks for the super chat. Getting a lot of damage, but I'm not killing them enough. I need to do more kills. Do not meddle in my destiny. I control Zeus's death. Give up worries of chaos, you're surrounded. Well, at least they're not blobbing up that much against us. Get them! Get the Could have been a worse one. I won't fail. I'm just waiting for a good batch of routing units to have these guys run them down. That's the whole reason I brought them in this battle. Okay, the Chaos Warriors are actually taking a fair bit of damage. Probably because they're going up against Orc Laborers, because they've got armor piercing. Good, this is what we wanted. That's it. Crash upon us here. Just like what Hannibal did at the Battle of Kanai. Uh, Ken L did a five dollar super chat. Hey, long time watcher, first time super chatter. You might have heard this question before, but the Big Les show, yeah, nah, or oh, nah, yeah. Uh, I don't think I've seen it. Sorry.
Thanks Super Chat, but I yeah, I just haven't seen it. Oh yeah, there's some there's some crispy crispy orcs right there. I think it's time to deliver the final blow. They're all pretty badly damaged in really poor spirits. It's time to uh, cause a mass rout. Which we'll do with the next spell cast. Which is right here. And there it is. Just try to run down as much as we can. Especially try to run down the Chaos Wolf Warriors, because those are clearly their best units. But yeah, this should be worth a lot of souls. Need to pay the troll toll. Need those boy souls. Can you disband the starting Chaos Knights? No, no, I didn't disband them. I just transferred them into a different army because I didn't want them for this particular battle. But I've still got them. I don't think I've disbanded any units so far. The Chaos Warhounds are shit, they got 300 kills. Arcan the Champ can run them down too. Yeah, single entities are shit at running down mass numbers of infantry. This would be a waste of time. They'll get like 10 kills. And they'll just get in the way. Close. Have you experienced the exploding gatehouses of the walled Chaos Wolf settlements yet? No, I haven't experienced that yet. I tend not to defend too many settlements, more is on the attack. Uh, when playing Chaos, is it better to run enemies down or let them go to max souls per battle? Uh, best to run them down. Well, it depends on the situation. If it's a field battle like this, then yeah, run them down. It's a nice number of souls. Uh, why don't I get more souls? Where's my souls at? I guess I'll just take the replenishment because that's not much money. Well, this is just in. Dwarves don't have souls. We should also make Zatan a vassal. That'd be interesting. Mostly crap. That's a concern, though. Armor of Gazrak. Is it is it just me, or is this armor of complete garbage? Like, complete and utter garbage. We shall weave the fates. Forward unto slaughter! Destruction for all! Yeah. Let us corrupt! What are, what are they going to do about it, really? They can't get any replenishment while... Oh, no, they'll be able to replace it with a new lord. That's okay. 
Oh, Arcane's a little bit damaged, but he'll be alright. Never finished the magic line. That's not very good. That's not terrible. Souls gained from battles is not terrible. Don't really need it. Also terrible. I think serve or die is probably the best choice there. If you want to go down the blue line. But I think I want to make Archeon a bit better of a fighter. Yeah, let's do that. Let's give him some more melee defense. Okay, off. okay, and yep, rusted branding iron. Because we want to get a gift of, of Nurgle active. The Volary. Okay, cool. We gained enough money to get this stuff here going. That's good. Let's see if we can get Blizzard Peak now. Honest, I'd rather be raiding, oh man, they you have my turned their opinion around about us really quickly. That's much better than it was last time. Uh, that's not as good as it was last time. But we'll see. If I give them a settlement over here, maybe maybe I can trade it for Blizzard Peak. Okay, well, I don't have a lot of cash. Okay. Let's move on. Let's see what Zatan does. I reckon they'll run away. Forgot about them again. It's a shame Zatan kind of got shafted as a legendary lord. He's my personal favorite core chalk in the law. Drazowath and Astrogoth are just better. Yeah. Yeah, they're running away. <laughs> oh, look at this. Underway stance. You got caught. You got caught, my bitch. You're out of here. Oh, I think he's in a chariot now. Is there any explanation as to why the game sometimes misjudges how well you did in a battle? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, there is. It's it's hard to explain it. Though, no. whether you get a close Pyrrhic or decisive victory, it doesn't make any difference anymore. So it doesn't just don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. See, it used to be a multiplier to your experience, but it literally means nothing now. So. Don't don't worry about it. There is a reason, but it's just it's not worth worrying about. I thought Ascent of Demonhood was better. Oh yeah, shit. That's what I was working on. I forgot. You're right. What's this? Raid the following region. No, I'm not doing that. Skull of Katana is shit. I foresee destruction. What? God, by the time this guy gets here, it's gonna be bloody all over. How are we going over here? Astrogoth is starting to make progress against Clan Ferric. To be honest, I'd rather be raiding. Oh, you're doing that as well. But okay. you have my cool. time. Yeah. No. Just, just whatever. Just ignore them. All right. Fortress of Eyes. Yep. Let's go attack it. Okay. Interesting. What is this? Ooh, this is interesting. It's a minor settlement battle, right? So that gives them an auto resolve boost, but they've got a short amount of. They've got to wait two minutes before they come into the battlefield. If I cap all the points before they get a chance to come in, instant defeat. Recruit Kolek. 
Yeah. Yeah. But. Alright, hang on. Are you a god? I am old. Mm. Recruit Kolek. I don't think it's gonna matter too much in this. Alright, let's let's get yeah, he's got the dragon ogre. Alright, you can have Kolek. Okay. Can you possibly reinforce in this battle? I don't think so. No, he just didn't have enough movement. Okay, I need more fast units attached to this army because we've got to rush to get those those points captured. Check your skills. Okay. Alright, let's have a look. Wasted skills. Uh, devoted to chaos, that's not too bad. That's bad. That's one wasted point. Yeah, just one wasted point, that's all. Alright, need to put all of the fast units into Archeon's army. Any slow units? We want to keep it? Yeah, keep that one out. Alright, so really we should only be fighting against this. Let's have a look at what the map looks like. How difficult is it going to be to uh, capture all these points quickly? Uh, it's not one of my favorites, but we'll have about two minutes before they even start getting in. And Zatan's not going to have any capping power. We should definitely endeavor to wipe out the Death Shriek rocket launcher. What we should do as well is make sure that we time it correctly. We don't want to win the battle the moment they come in. We want them to come in a little bit and then win the battle the moment that our warhounds are about to reach them. So they rout and then we run them down. <laughs> you should upgrade your Chaos Warriors if if corn to dual weapons since you're not fighting much large units versus a tan. It doesn't matter. We're not really using that unit at all. Our infantry is not our key to victory here. Just be a waste of money. Are you an always sunny fan? Pay the troll toll or take the boy soul? Yes. Yeah. I am a Sunny's fan. I haven't watched that many episodes to be honest. So. How are you at war with all the Wood Elves? Endgame crisis. Wood Elf endgame crisis happened. Alright, so, so... So, 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 so... We need to cap all these points quickly. Alright, you're control group one, you're control group two, you guys are control group three, you guys are control group four, you two control group five, and you lot control group six. Oh my god, he's using control groups! Gotta move fast. And then he just ends up doing that. Okay, check to see if there's any issues. Yep, you're good. In the clear. Get in there. What are these? Hope Goblin Archers? You're good. You can take that out. Blunderbusses. Okay. You go over there. Yeah, you go around there.
swing around the corner just right, they won't get a chance to shoot at you. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Okay, you guys are coming through here now. Okay, they're done. Move up to the next spot. That's done. Move on to the next spot. Okay, reinforcements have come in. Some reinforcements. Oof. Some squishy bitches. Get them out of there. And curl like into the middle, maybe. Okay, that's done. Okay, you run that down. Keep blunderbusses. Okay, they're starting to come in now. That's okay. That's okay. We've only got one more point left to hit. Just this last one here. Now we don't want to capture it straight away. Want them to have a chance to come in first. Okay, these guys start coming in over here. We want to fuck up Zatan's army. Not yet, not yet. Just wait. Just wait. We got time. We got time. Just wait. That's it. Just wait. Oh, shit. They can beat that. Okay, let's cap it now. Okay, now these guys... How are you, how are you doing there? Shit. These ones, start making your way over here. That's it. As soon as we cap this, we win. Start getting the fast units over here. There we go, battle's won. Oh! Those are death shriekers. <laughs> quick, get them quick! Get him quick! Oh, Zatan's pinned down. Zatan's pinned down. Let's get him. Let's get him. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get that many of them there. Keep him pinned down. Yeah, we're running down a couple, but I I didn't let them come in fast enough. No, 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 no! Don't let don't let him get up. Uh, CCR, did a $2 budget rare treat catching you live? Cheers. No worries, dude. My pleasure. BSO Gun Channel says, Hey man, thanks for all the great perspectives. No problem. So just don't let him get away. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get him, but he'll be damaged, that's for sure. I actually don't know what Zatan's um, defeat trait is. Do not meddle in my destiny! Claim their souls for credit! Come on, we almost got him. I reckon he's gonna pull a Grimgore and slip away from me. Come on, we just need like a couple more hits. Come on, one more hit, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, don't let him run off with 20 health left. There we go. We actually got him. Good. What's the item on Archeon? A forbidden rod. I can't be using that right now. He's too badly damaged. It damages yourself.
Magic item drop chance plus 15%. Ah, oh, is that all? Mm, whatever. Missile resist and settlement money when on map. Oh, really? Okay. So yeah, just 82 casualties there. And I, unfortunately, I didn't really kill that many of Zatan's army. But I did actually get Zatan himself. But yeah, when the Death Shrieker started shooting, I knew I had to stop. Yeah, he gets away. He only got five kills. This sediment here will be gifted to the Dolgan. But we can sack and occupy it first. Range plus 15% for artillery unit. Magic item drop chance 40%. That's that's a pretty good defeat trait. That'd be really good for a lot of races. Not so much for for us. Yes, bring the storm. I foresee destruction. Why the hell did I see? So how many settlements has he got left? Two. Okay, because we want to turn him into a vassal. So I'll take... No, I'll leave him with Iron Storm, which means we're going to have to sack that settlement, make our way over to here, occupy that, and then come back over here and subjugate him. Star Crusher. Now. To okay, now we got to try to trade this settlement. For a head contest. What was it called again? The Fortress of Eyes. Let's try to get Blizzard Peak for that. Oh. <laughs> the economic value has gone up dramatically. Oh well. Understood. Okay. Alright, that's that's fine. No, yeah, that's fine. Alright. So we want to put all of our dragon ogres into Colex army since he boosts them by so much. But there actually needs to be some dragon ogres actually show up. Doesn't he just boost monster units? Yeah, he missile resistance for Chaos Monster Infantry and Monster Units. Hmm. And we've also got reduced costs for the uh, Carnage Incarnate gift, which will take us a while to get to anyway. I think I'll just keep making him like a good fighter or something for now. Okay. The gods smile. Spirit of Morka. Yeah, it would be good if we get this. Archeon is pretty. Oh, yeah, I was trying to get that. Let's, let's keep going with that. Alright, we've got a couple of Marauders, or just one Marauder here that can be upgraded to Chaos Warriors. I'll just make them a basic one. Oh, no, no, yeah, just that one there will do. Cool. Good, he picked a fight with these idiots, the Nesh faction, instead of me. So that's good. The giant is available. Come on, man. I'm not going to recruit a fucking giant. <laughs> uh, money's not great, and we're doing just fine. I, I don't need to recruit any more units right now. Okay, that's all fine.
We just stay close to this guy here, or else they'll, they'll attack him. So we've big time got these guys on the run. But yeah, the Tan's uh, defeat trait is pretty bloody interesting. Range for artillery units. Man, imagine what you could do with that in this game. I should be playing a Skaven, and, and you get extra range on your um, on your artillery pieces. The Eye of Sirium has already told. No, you're next on my kill list. Is it worth it to ascend your exalted heroes or better to keep them undivided? It's better to ascend them to Nurgle. That is by far the best choice. The upsides far outweigh the downside when devoting to Nurgle. Devoting to Corn doesn't really make them any better. Giving them a bit of a chance to recover. So yeah. Uh, interesting thing about this situation is... I think we're going to have to leave one of our armies here to besiege this settlement. Or else Dolgan will come over and occupy it. Which we don't want. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to reach it this turn. The gods will. For chaos. Absolutely not. Foul move. <laughs> yes. Jacob Borger Palson did an ice gate 750 super chat. Hey Legion, what is the most fun order tied faction to play at the moment for hard to very hard player? I, I don't know, man. Everyone's gonna have a different answer. Probably high elves. Yeah, I'd say high elves. Yeah, I guess. That's my recommendation. Thanks, super chat. Alright, yeah, I can't get any closer. What? Yep, that's all fine there. Not much I can really do about that. I was kind of hoping there'd be a dragon over here, but nope. Get trolls. I don't mind trolls in Warhammer 3. No, look, it's, we don't need it. It's overkill. We're smashing the crap out of them. We've got them on the run. Yeah, they're not even recruiting anything. We don't need to overblow our military any further. How does Imric fare with his new Chorf neighbors? I haven't played Imric, so I don't know. 
I haven't played him since the Chorfs came out. I imagine it would, wouldn't be too stressful. I don't think the Chaos Wolves are a particularly difficult opponent in the early game because all they do is spam out goblins and orcs, which is pretty easy to deal with. Sleeper pick, Alithanar. Yes, Alithanar is a good choice. Yes, I agree with that one. Yes. I like Alithanar. Mm. Mm. Looks like you're about to get wiped out, so let's just go ham and make it lots of money. Okay, the eye opens. We get shenanigans. No, I don't like that. Eh, that's okay. No. Or 10,000. I like money. It's just easy money. There's other benefits I just didn't really need. And they'll only last five turns. Bring dead. I actually really don't want you over here. Because yeah, I don't want them occupying this settlement because I want Zatan as a vassal. So I'm not going to vassalize him with a dark fortress, which is what he's got. He's got which he, he didn't even make it a... What an idiot! He didn't even make it a tower. I don't know what the AI is thinking with this stuff. Oh, they ran away. <laughs> Fucking AI. Alright, um... <laughs> Run away! Alright, I think I should leave Colex Sunita here. Just besiege the settlement. Oh, look, there they are. <laughs> this is so cowardly. Please don't hurt me, Mr. Chaos. They don't even hide. They don't even retreat to their next settlement. They're like, go and hide up this way. Be, be super annoying. So we're just going to keep it under siege and just run right past here, try to get to this settlement here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just run over this way. But we need to keep it under siege so that our allies don't capture it. <laughs> okay, now watch as they try to get out of here by using the underway stance and get caught by Archeon. I love how the AI just says, yeah, F this. Yeah, they don't even try to defend themselves. They're like, yeah, look, I know I suck at this game. Look, the AI has enough self-awareness to know how bad they are at the game. Always ready for a headbutting contest. Hmm, I don't think I'm going to get this settlement that way. I'll have to declare war on Grimgore and get Grimgore to take it and then just take it off Grimgore. And if you ever look at Grimgore, he... He doesn't like us, so there's a good chance he'll declare war. How are we going for relation to this 36? No missions. And how much are we gaining per turn? Like four? Yeah. Cause this one here, I brought it all the way over here and it's gonna it's gonna be returned in a few turns. But if I've got enough I could just get it back again. Alright, this is what we've been working towards. Maddening gifts. Okay, and let's move on. <sighs> well, I knew it was going to happen anyway. Alright, that just means what we need to do is... Oh, they're actually... Oh, Archeon's not here. They managed to find a way of fighting me that Archeon wasn't going to show up. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. 
interesting. I don't think it's that interesting. Yeah, I can win this. Sorry if it's an annoying question, but why didn't you feel like giving Drazzleworth a part 2 live stream? I just didn't feel like live streaming. That's all there is to it. One was enough. I guess I didn't put RK on within his zone of control. But then again, if I did, they of course wouldn't make this attack, which could be favorable for me, or I might end up losing, we'll see. So one thing that we've got to do right away is take out that Death Shrieker. That's got to happen. Um, I think we should deploy over here. I'll need to put this one over Shmyar, which means that gives me two minutes. That's not so bad. All right, Kolek, you're kind of on your own to begin with here. They'll wait for their reinforcements, which gives us a good opportunity to get rid of that Death Shrieker. There's also the Blunderbuss. We've got to watch out for that. Oh, the artillery is actually going for me. It'd be pretty funny if it uses the anti infantry variant. Let's see. Hey, blow, blow up your own units. Oh, no, no, no. Blunderbuss. No, 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 no. Okay, here's our reinforcements. Okay, I'll organize you guys in a bit. Still gotta deal with this. I cannot let this Death Shrieker get over there. God, they've got a lot of health. It just doesn't seem to do much damage. Why are we not doing more damage? We should be doing way more than this. We're doing too much splash. Not the flame resistance. How dare you use crap spell on me. Okay, their blunderbusses are kind of obstructed a little bit. Kolek's already done his work. 
I definitely would like him to take out that Death Shrieker. Buses, they're gonna start shooting if I'm not careful there. Alright, it's good that they're. Actually, why don't we just freaking all out attack this here? Just all out go at it. Monsters, maybe hang back a little bit. Because I got a huge portion of them stuck over here. Well, the Death Shriek is about to shoot. Let's see if it's going to do an anti-infantry. Ah! <laughs> used anti-infantry. <laughs> Maybe I should have kept it... should keep it alive. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I think it was because it was mixed in a bunch... with a bunch of other troops. He's doing that. There we go. Death Shrieker down. Good, good, good. Alright. That's worth it. Alright, let's get Kolek back over this way. Mm, I don't think we need to use any magic on this. Try to get them into a big blob and use Pit of Shades on them. That would be good. Just big dumb blobs, here we go. I think it's a pretty good combo to use because it puts them in a small area. Regular pit of shades there should be fine. Bolt of shame. 
Yep, we got this. We got this. The only thing we have to worry about was the Death Streaker. Everything else is easy. The buses. Get him out, get him out, get him out, get him out. Move fast. Move fast. Luckily, they're mostly obstructed, but yeah, keep him away from that. This is the only obvious target. I'll wait for a bit of shades. shooting anything. How much damage have they done so far? They've only done 600 damage, that's not so much. Let's keep Kolek away from them. One more magic? No, I need five. Pity shades in there will clear this out. Although it looks like the battle might actually be over before then, so let's just speed it up. Monster units push through, get rid of these Chaos Walk Thunder buses. Curl it, go for the single entities. Spawn over here is getting wrecked. Let's get it out of there. Okay, I think that's the army losses. Cool. Let's run down their lords so we get lots of loot. Much better result than what Order of Resolve said we'd get. Let me look over here. Stop forgetting your damn orders. <laughs> they keep forgetting their fucking orders. Oh, come on, man. I gave you a very specific order. Nah, whatever. Get him another time. Oh, hang on, there's another dude over here. Get him. At least we got one Lord killed. Do you have any ideas what CA could do to make Dark Hills heroes more, be more useful again? 
Yeah. When it comes down to it, heroes need to provide the army with some kind of benefit, or they need to provide the faction with some kind of benefit. So, for example, with the assassin heroes, they don't really do much if you're attached into the army. So, if they were to provide some bonuses to units that are similar to them, like, I don't know, shades, you know, giving shades stalk. <laughs> Imagine that if they had a skill on uh, assassins. Uh, shadowy dealings, I don't know. Gives stalk to all shades unit. But legend, they have sh they have stalk by default. Yes, that's, that's my whole point. Um, I don't know. Maybe they could have poison attack for all shades, something like that. You know, something that can boost specific units. You know, beast masters should give bonuses to monster units, making them immune to psychology or giving their melee defense increase or something. I don't know. Whatever. Um, and the. Um, the Death Hag should give bonuses to things like Sisters of Slaughter and Witch Elves. As an example. I will take the replenishment. going down that way and it's fine. Yeah, if you if you just make a hero like good in melee or something like that, it's not very interesting. Especially if it's something like an assassin that doesn't get a mount. So they become pretty useless attached into an army later down the track. I, I know that they can also um I could always use another trade agreement, I guess. The Eye of Sirium is all. At least we know where that one is. Um. No. But you know which heroes I think need the updates the most? Cathay heroes. The Astromancer and Alchemist are two of the most boring hero types in the entire game. They are so bad. The only use of an Alchemist is to just get that extra campaign movement range. They are just, they're not even good spellcasters. Man, the Greenskins are begging the forces of chaos for assistance here. Alright, so if they come back and attack us again, this guy and this one will back us up, so we can send everyone except for Kolak onto the next battle. SFO actually does that, what you described earlier. Yeah, well, that's why it's such a subscribed mod, it actually does what people want it to do. I could wipe them out, but... I would much rather get to the Bloodwind Keep quicker. Let us corrupt. Yeah, these guys here will back us up if they attack us again. They're right on the edge of... I think they'll back us up. Anyway, let's just go. Are you a god? Let us corrupt. Mm -hmm. Cool, and then we need to put some defenses over here. Okay, let's see. Uh, is our other dude? Yeah, this dude's back here, Lord of Fire. Hmm. 
Alright, if I do that, it's gonna bankrupt me. We shall weave the fates. Yeah, early game Kislev's not great against aspiring champions. They are good against trolls, because they'll have basically Kossar span. These will be okay. Yep. Alright, just go with that to begin with. At least I can kind of afford that. I guess if I go into the red a little bit, it's not so bad. And I'm going to assume I'm not going to lose this settlement, so let's upgrade it. Anyway, they may want to focus on these guys here first. Did you end up going to war with them? Come enter then. Yes, Are you they after did. a drink? A fist fight? How divine. <laughs> Okay. Level up the Kolek. He really needs like a potion of healing or something after that battle. No, go with that one. Let's have a look and see what we can make. Actually, Dragon Bane Gem. Uh, no. Let's see what else there is. Alright, let's get the. Let's get these two and fuse them into a potion of healing. No. That's yeah, fine. Okay, those are two crappy items. Forbidden Rods. I actually like Forbidden Rods. So I'm going to keep that. I don't care about Scroll of Blast or Scroll of Shielding. That is good. But no Potion of Healing. Okay. So next turn, we capture Bloodwind Keep, and then we also vassalize this settlement here. Oh look, they're not backing me up. But they should back me up if these guys, if they attack me. Yeah, they'll both assist me in that case. Okay, that's good. Okay. Oh, I forgot about <laughs> the other dude. I always forget about you. Uh, damn it. I just forget. It's not one of my army. I borrowed that army. That could actually be quite useful. I just forgot. Could have been standing next to Kolek by now. Don't you get money from Norska Outposts? Yes. What's your point? The Eye of Syrian has already told me of it. No. going on here. Anyway, 
Anyway, Zatan's about to become our ally. Any mods you prefer, or are you vanilla? I prefer vanilla. Okay, let's have a look over here. Alright, just want to have a, a little bit of a look out this way. Alright, doesn't seem like there's anyone on the way here. How strong is he? We're slightly stronger than him. Okay, that's good to know. You need a boom. You just hold a defensive position there for the time being. I'll get some more resources over to him as soon as possible. To be honest, I'd rather be raided. Oh, look, he's at war with them too. Okay. 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 All right. Let's send these three guys to capture Bloodwing Keep. Should be easy enough. Uh, you, are you able to assist? Yes, you are. Good. You'll be able to finally participate in a battle before I have to give you back. <laughs> so it's really important that when doing this sort of vassalizing with a faction that we do it in the proper order. We want to make sure he's got a settlement that is completely useless to us. So we don't want to make him a vassal and have him hold a dark fortress. So just have him hold, what is this? A fort? I, I understand it's a... Wow, he's not going to be able to recruit anything good. Well, that's his problem. <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> okay, and... He might be able to auto-resolve this. Because we know that Siege is a poop. Okay, no problems there. No problems there. Yep, looks like this is a easy auto-resolve. Cool. Yep, that is totally fine. And we just want to occupy that. Good. And then over here, we'll probably be able to order resolve it as well, and we subjugate them, because this should be their last settlement. Hang on, I didn't check that. Yeah, so last settlement. Cool. Ooh. No, just, just, ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can pay for the privilege to. I still get those souls anyway. There we go. And now Zatan the Black is mine. I right, give him back some Cast Wolf units. Cool. Alright, now the next step for us is Slaughter the sheep. Village. The village idiot. Now I kind of want his defeat trait for Archeon, but I also don't know where he is. He likes us. Okay, this settlement over here has okay, there's no resources in these two settlements, so it's of no value for us to occupy. The only value might be to transfer it over to Zatan, who would be a better ally. But I don't really care that much. So what we want to do, I'm going to send this one to scout a little bit over this way. And what we do is rather than declare war now, we just come all the way to Red Fortress and take that from them. Because it should be their only settlement, right? No, he's got two settlements. Ah, uh, he took fucking Wei Jin. How the hell did he get that? Oh, did he... Hang on, Yusak. Oh, Yusak, they, they took this gate here and he walked through this way, okay. Alright, well as soon as I capture this settlement here, then I'll just get them as a vassal anyway. 
And it's just undefended. I don't even think I need to send Archeon to go do that. I could have these two guys. And Kolak, although Kolak... Yeah, and I'll have Archeon enter Cathay. Or maybe... What do you guys think? Should I enter Cathay? Or should I head back up this way? Because there's... There's a few Dark Fortresses out here. Maybe we'll just, like, establish ourselves a little bit out here. Oh, but then again, I did want... That's right, I wanted him to get Village's defeat trait. So yeah, we'll have to send Archeon to go fight Village. His army is kind of shit. All these Chaos Warhounds. So let's make some transfers. Okay, I think I can work with that. You dare. <laughs> yeah, and Kolek, get your ass over here. These three here should have no trouble taking the Red Fortress for them on their own. And this one here... Okay. Are you a god? Okay. <laughs> Good. Let us corrupt. Okay. Alright, yeah, so Archeon makes his way down over here. We want to head over to take out village first. And then we'll go and fight whatever Cathayan factions. Wherever we can find some dark fortresses. And then I'll just let the vassals just do whatever they want from there. Yeah. And then send Archeon to go and sort out the shit over this way. Okay, cool, let's move on. Okay, at least we know where Boros is. That's good. Oof. Kiss that vassal goodbye. Take the donut. We're too far away from the donut. Satan's back. Satan the back. Remember Renter Army? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to purchase it again, I think. I just don't have enough um, uh, allegiance. I'll have to wait a few more turns. If we're lucky, they'll go into Encamp Stance and globally recruit a few more units in there. Does he like Wormer 3 better than Wormer 2 now because they fixed the bugs, or did he just get used to the game plus it's what viewers want? Okay, so I don't agree with the premise that they fixed the bugs. This game is more buggy than Warhammer 2 pretty much ever was, and is currently more buggy. Uh, patch 3.0 probably made it more buggy. Um... I think I did just kind of get used to it. I, I can't honestly say that I like Warhammer 3 more than Warhammer 2. But I do like Warhammer 3. I've never disliked it. I've definitely disliked streaming it. But it's not superior to Warhammer 2, in my opinion. Yeah, for that kind of money, I'll accept it. Not a rooster did a $10 super chat. Use your Drazerath stream as a loose early game guide for my campaign. Now I'm turned 70 and the 12s are the most fun I've had in Warhammer 3. Thanks for the top legend. No, dude. Glad it all worked out well for you. Brother, is your tier list for Warhammer 2 still relevant? Sorry if I'm just late, just getting into these games. Some of them will be relevant, some of them not so relevant. Any of the tier lists where I was like, melee infantry are shit, those ones will probably need to be redone. But I'd say the high off one is pretty much the same. Even though the melee infantry is more useful now, their archers are just so much better, it's still not worth getting their melee infantry. Same thing with um, the Empire. I don't feel like the Empire... Or maybe a slight adjustment since the cavalry is a little bit better. Move. 
ready. Forward unto slaughter. Yes. All right, so about to make our way down to the Red Fortress. But Archaon will seek out the village. I don't want to trespass just yet. Try to not give away the game straight away. Yeah. Okay. And then over here, since we saw where Boris Ursus is, and we saw down here... Okay. I think we should take this opportunity to go and revive the Tong, because I think that the Burning Monolith just doesn't have any forces there. It's a bit of a risk. Ooh. Okay. You, and you, and not them, because they're not useful in the scenario. Yep, you, and you, and you. This will probably make me broke. Oh, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Legend, you said not to force much. <laughs> we'll just have to hope that there's no one there. Because <laughs> that'll allow me to get there next turn. And establishing a vassal over here will seriously annoy them. That's what we want to do there. Try to annoy them until we're actually ready to dedicate a proper offensive. Because I'm busy down here. Alright. That all looks good. Let's see if we can do some construction to improve our income. That's good. But I don't have unlimited funds. Kadatha. Oh, I'll still be able to get through this turn. It's going to take them two turns to get over to Red Fortress. No defenses there. Okay, let's move on. So, village at the moment. Yeah, he really likes us. He's not going to suspect anything. <laughs> not going to suspect a thing. Well, until we trespass on his territory. Whatever. Here we go. Uh, Mr. Loser did a $20 super chat. Have a good one, brother. Alright, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. You have a good one as well. That's it, Boris. Attack these idiots. Good. There's his other army. Interesting that they're not really utilizing their anti-player bias to come and smash me. Hey, Legend, don't you think Festus' campaign is much better? No. How good are aspiring champions? They're this good. Sorry, just, I was doing this. They're, they're that good. The eye of Syria. Wait, I've been God for Total War Warhammer for too long. When did Warriors of Chaos hold cities? They've always held cities. No, I'm just kidding. Um, when their rework happened back in... Oh, nice job, Ferric. When their rework happened in August of last year, that's when they got their... Um, they have cities now. They're not just a mindless blow-up-everything faction anymore. Did I miss the Wild Hunt? Why are the Wood Elves so powerful? Yeah, because they're the end game crisis. Huh. Kazrak must have been wiped out. He returned. Hmm. It is decreed by me. Interesting. Despoilers come. 
Alright, we should be able to make it here next turn. And if our forces are insufficient, we should be able to pick up some more. Oh, 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 you've got money for me. Yes, he does. Yeah, that's a good boy. Okay. Hang on, I got an idea, I got an idea. I got some money for you first. I'll give you a gift. Okay. And then I'll give you another gift. Oh, I don't have any more money. Okay, then you give it back to me. Yeah, that's a good boy. You give that money back. Yeah. Then. Yeah, there we go. Then you give me more money that you don't have. <laughs> and then I want you to declare war on someone. Let's have a look. Oh, Bowman of Orient? Sure. And also I want you to pay me. <laughs> what if we pick a different opponent? Someone that's about to die. Uh, Urson Revivalist. There we go. No, you don't want... Oh, hang on. You only want to go to war with one person. No, you don't want to go to war with them. That's fine. What about Disciples of Hashut? Nope. What about Heralds of Ariel? No. Alright, I guess we're going with Bowman of Orient. Cool. Give me the money. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks for the money, bitch! Uh, that, was, that was a nice little cash grab there. Alright, I want to push Archeon through the gate. Uh, he's not going to get through this turn. Hmm. Yeah, I can't get through it. I'm not going to attack it, but I can't get through. How strong is village? You have not knowledge to share food. Okay. Cool. Well, that worked out very nicely for me. Alright, and look at that. Because I force marched, I got just enough movement to get over here. Nine units versus our fifteen. Any other troops available? Yep, get the Marauders. It'll take some time before they're worthy of being upgraded, but we've got to start somewhere. And I'll get another one of those. So yeah, I don't expect this guy here to outright beat the, um, the Urson Revivalists. But what we can do is just get him to annoy the shit out of them in the time for the time being. Yeah, so gift it to this vassal here. Yeah. Cool, establish ourselves another vassal. Good. Okay. Then the Howling Citadel over here, which is an important settlement for us. We should go and snatch that while these armies aren't in the area. And hopefully, if he wants to send some forces over here, he'll go and attack the Tong. Alright. If this guy here ends up getting wrecked, I don't really care too much. So, Force March, if we, whatever. If we get caught, we get caught. Alright. Good. Alright, and we got some more money this turn. That's nice. Let's see what can we build. Yeah, there's nothing important that we need. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, I'm just going to force march through here anyway. Because... Oh god, that lag. Maybe we can get the uh, the movement range from uh, from thing. Okay, there's village. That's it. My brother agrees. Okay, let's move on. Good, Boris is still distracted. So how angry with me is he? Pretty angry. 
But that's because of the military actions, and I think he'll get over it fairly soon. And if not, I don't think he can do much about it. Upgrades Archaeon's Marauders? Yes, I should do that. Yeah. Marauders are shit. We need to get Chaos Warriors. Can you explain what you just did extorting the Beastmen? Like the mechanics? Yep. Pretty simple. It's an oversight from Creative Assembly. Creative Assembly should just rename themselves to Oversight Assembly. But anyway. <laughs> Beastmen don't weigh money in diplomacy. It weighs nothing to them. So any time that you can get them to agree to anything, you can always get them to give you money. Always. So, if you join one of their wars, you can demand maximum money. If they're willing to give you a gift, you can demand the maximum gift. If they're willing to give you a non-aggression back, you can demand that they pay the maximum for it. So, anytime you do any diplomacy with beastmen, peace treaties as well, anytime any diplomacy whatsoever, always ask for the maximum amount of money because it is weighted absolutely zero. So, what I also did is that I gave them a bunch of money gave them some gifts which increased their treasury but also increased my relationship with them and then I demanded that money be returned which didn't cost me any relations with them that's why I did the gifts first also you can beyond bankrupt them because if they have no money left you can still demand 2000 gold because of the every faction has like a 2000 gold budget for any diplomatic deal if you ask for it. You catch me in a moment of less rage, creature. Nah. Is he wearing the Manscaped shirt? Fuck, I forgot to do that. <laughs> Sorry. You're absolutely right, I forgot to do that. I said I was going to do that. Alright, I'll do it on the next one. Sorry. I'll have to do another live stream soon. Yeah, this was an impromptu live stream. I was, didn't know I was going to do it until today. I just, I, I totally forgot. So no, I'm not wearing the shirt. I, even though I said I would, I just forgot. Just wear it next time. Okay, Allegiance with Heralds of Tempest. They're gone. And yeah, obviously we'll do this. <laughs> that's, that's, they're gone. Midland destroyed. Okay, we can reach here. Yep. Kurlek needs to launch the attack because he's got Siege Attacker. And this one here doesn't. Welcome to that other army that I was borrowing, the cool one. Um, I can borrow that again soon. Getting three with them. Because if we have a look at this, this building here, allegiance points gain plus 10% for alliances and vassalage with Norska. Diplomatic relations plus 10 for demons of chaos, warriors of chaos, beastmen, and Norska, but not chaos dwarves. Uh, Dan the Canadian did a $5.5 super chat. Welcome back, man. Happy to see you doing normal hours. Here's some money for treats for Gemma. Heading to bed. Good night. Alright, thanks, dude. I'll... I'm sure yeah, she'll appreciate that. Who's Gemma? Gemma's my wife. No, I'm just kidding. It's my dog. Alright. Village. Hang on, how many settlements does he have now? Oh, it's you. It's you. Two settlements. Since he can use teleport stance, we gotta be somewhat careful. This area here is fine for magic. I may need to sneak around here in ambush stance. So that I don't get detected. For me. This is decreed by me. Who is this? I don't know. Alright, time to declare war on village, which will also declare war on Yusak, but Yusak will immediately be turned into a hang on, I can negotiate with 
Probably the Blessed Dread will give me the most. You have my attention. The question is, what will you do with it? Yeah. The crew will see to it. Okay, so capturing the settlement will immediately turn the USAC against them. So we don't need to fight them at all. Move. The spoilers come. The spoilers come. Also, I should transfer those uh, doggos into um, into Kolex army. And while it's on my mind right this very second, I should upgrade these before I forget about them. Regular cast words will be fine. They're not noble. That one's not. Ooh, armored chaos troll. Fine, whatever. Okay, that's as much as I can upgrade that. All right, this will probably have to be fought manually. What is there? Okay, there's some units here that I could recruit. Money's not great, and I'm pretty sure I can win this either way. It's only 14 units in here, and. Them too serious. Fulfill the pact. Now they will see Yeah, I don't think I need any more troops. Yeah, yeah, I can manage this. If I lose this, then I'm not really a legend of total war. Our ambush is still cheesable. Man, so much in this game is cheesable. Pretty much every single battle in this game can be cheesed. Watch as I show you. Hey Legion, wondering if you have seen the Warhammer 3 content from Brilliant Stupidity. Is he someone you've reached out for your Total War Partner program? Yes, I've watched his videos and he reached out to me and he is in the in the creator support network. Yep. Yeah. Looks like Village died looking at his strength. Oh, did he? Well, I want his defeat trait, but it's not essential. Because, yeah, the extra uh, melee defense is pretty good for Archeon, but I'm not going to wait around for him to come back. Okay. Alright, here's what we do. The exact same thing that, thing that we did last time we were in this sort of map. make sure they have no idea where we are so they don't deploy over here okay that can hide okay good we take these two all the way over here but Kolek stand there you stay there, because otherwise we'll get destroyed by towers. Yeah, powerful towers. Okay, and then... Battle begins, there should be nothing here. Yep, cool. <laughs> and then, we create a breach. Uh, incredible breach, because sometimes it doesn't really work anything. Are you interested in speedruns? Um, I'm interested in like maybe watching a speedrun, but I'd never do them myself. I don't like I like don't like doing speedruns. Go go go. 
Okay, some of you guys occupy this, because I don't think we're going to outright win by camp capturing that. I don't think. Oh, whoops. Can I dodge this? Because these aren't homing, are they? Okay, these guys are in. There, that could be a problem. Move, 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 move. Open cap. Good. Okay. Try to squeeze out of here if we can. They're never going to get back up on the walls now. Cool, these two can come in. How are we going here? Yeah, I got caught. It's alright. Just try to be annoying. Alright, Kolek, like you win. Look at that, it's actually working. Good, capped that. Alright, next time, let's move off to another spot. Just have Colette go to the, Actually, there's a barricade there. Actually, let's do that. How are we going here? Get these out of here. Did we cap it? Yeah, we did. Alright, let's move on to another spot. How do you get around the camera restrictions on Legendary Difficulty? Uh, you got to double click around the map. That's about it. It's super annoying. Especially when you've got a like broken up force like this. Damn it. I accidentally broke. Alright, clicked. Okay, all good. Capture that. Cool. All right, you guys just punch through this unit. Look at this, they're just staring at it. <laughs> if they keep this up, the battle will be lost. Fine by me. Alright, get in there. All you, all you gotta do, you don't even have to cap it. All you have to do is sit there, and you'll prevent me from gaining points. <laughs> yeah, whatever, what are you gonna do? You can lead an AI to victory, but you can't make it actually make good decisions.
AI be looking at this being like, oh, but if it winning battles is cheese. Oh, hang on. Look, look, they might actually. Oh, they're going to stop me in time there. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll just have to win via this one. Alright, or if I can get it off that point. If I can get it to just get off that point, just briefly, that could work. See if we can get him to charge at us. Um, Center Nine did a two dollars super chat. What's the best way to manage controls? Controllers chorfs. Um, not having too much labor and public global public order bonuses and leaving small garrisons full of laborers. That helps. Outside of that, I don't know what else you can do. You could also do edicts. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's just that you you don't have a lot of tools at your disposal for managing public order. There aren't any sort of secrets to it, though. Thanks, Super Chat. I oh, did the same Super Chat twice. Well, thanks for the $4 Super Chat, then. All right. This one here is going to win us the battle if this one here won't get off it. There we go. Yeah, so what I do is try not to have too many outpost settlements in a province. Like, if you put three outposts and each of them max level, you're going to need a lot of labor to keep it running, which means a lot of public order problems. So what I usually do is have one or two labor-based uh, labor buildings in a province. That way, I'll, I like to keep the overall labor that I need for a province under a 1,000. And if it goes over a thousand, I just sacrifice them or something. Or move them around. Because there's no upper limit to how much labor can cause public order problems. And there's no technologies for reducing labor public order penalties. You just can reduce the amount of labor that you need by a fair bit. Ooh. No, I can't that size. Don't be tier one. Good. Right, tier two. Okay, so now these guys here are my vassal. And all I need to do is. I think you're right. I think village got destroyed. I think you're right there. If that's the case, it might be in our best interest to try to capture it next turn and just. I don't know if I'll reach. Just freaking go for it. Just friggin' leg it over here. See if I can manage to capture it next turn. Let's get that over and done with. Yeah, I think village got got wiped. Cool. Red fortress is mine. Those buildings are all good. Come on, lag. Quit it. Also, a level 5 lord costs 250 upkeep and can provide plus 3 control through the skill tree. Yep. Yep. Tempest incarnate. Yep, that is correct. There's there's you know, lots of things that you can do. Storm Rage. Okay. Oh yes. Any dragon ogres here? No. Cool, well that's the chaos wastes near Cathay completely under our control. It's just a matter of whether or not we want to set up shop in Cathay, or how much we want to do in Cathay. Uh, Bryce Bertram did a twenty dollars super chat. Hey Legend, been watching you for three plus years. Super chat a few times. Really wanted to play the Demons Chaos races, but the vast mechanic I'm a bit lost. I play High Elves, Orc, and Skaven, and Legendary, but I wanted to branch out. Uh, it's really not that difficult uh, with the, the Vassal system. They're very reliable now with the Vassal changes. So just play it. It's it's really not that complicated. You'll figure it out if you can play Legendary difficulty. Then you'll manage this. Thanks for the uh, super chat, dude. Appreciate it. Oh, 
those those lags. Alright. That doesn't look too difficult, and we don't have a siege attacker in the army, so we need to do something about that. Ah, there's no trolls here. I could get the weird spawn. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get rid of this one. Because, yeah, I don't have a siege attacker in the army. Wait! I have Shatterstone. I have a siege attacker always. Never mind. <laughs> I'll just put it back. I've got Shatterstone. Everyone's a siege attacker now. Alright, that's good. Let's get back over to here, level these guys up, and. I don't know. Yeah, the lag and stuttering is pretty bad at the moment, for sure. Plains of Zambaijin, what should we put in here? We don't have any more capacity for um, exalted heroes, it would be good to get more of them. Yep. Yep. Okay, what else? Let's see if we've got any missions from our allies. Yes, I do. So the cool want me to attack Boris Stefanovich. Oh, thanks for letting me know where he is. And the Dolgan want me to... 24, damn. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I'll actually encounter him, but... I'll accept that mission. Oh, God. Alright, let's move on. Oh, there was a commandment available. Probably over here. I suppose I don't really need this because yeah, hang on. It spreads it into adjacent provinces, so I guess that's something. I don't know. The Chaos Warrior commandments aren't really that good. G'day, guys and lasses. Uh, me, Major Kill. What? Major Kill here? Yeah? No, I don't see him. Well, Clan Ferric's about to get defeated, which I don't care. Do you like this game as much as you used to? No, not really. I still like it, but not as much as I used to. Uh, let me let me put it this way. I like Warhammer 3 now more than I've ever liked Warhammer 3. But I don't like Warhammer 3 as much as I liked Warhammer 2. But not by like a huge degree. It's not like I hate Warhammer 3. I don't. I do like Warhammer 3. I just think Warhammer 2 is better. It's slowly getting there. Bit by bit, it's getting there. In what ways was Warhammer 2 better? The AI was more fun to engage with. That's really what it comes down to. In Warhammer 3, the AI is just, it's just brain dead. It gets really boring really quick. And some of the mechanics introduced into Warhammer 3 are not fun. I kind of liked it when the AI cheated more and just had, you know, four armies by turn 10. But they just don't really do that anymore. No. Tried out Rift Breaker for the first time yesterday. Pretty good. Yeah. It's a very good game. And DLC should be coming out soon.
The battle AI or campaign AI? Both. Both. The AI on the campaign map is very cowardly. They'll declare war on you on a whim, but they'll only send an army to go and fight like your undefended settlements or in, in situations where they're, they just don't have a choice. They have to make the fight. And on the battlefield, they are very passive and make extremely poor decisions. Far worse than what they did in Warhammer 2. They really didn't improve the AI at all between Warhammer 2 and Warhammer 3, or in many ways, they actually made it worse, because it seems to me like the AI is programmed to try to counter cheese from Warhammer 2. So if you just don't do that cheese from Warhammer 2, the AI completely falls over. It, it keeps trying to predict that you're going to do Warhammer 2 strategies, right? And you just don't do that. It's so easy to beat them. Couldn't quite get there. Well, if I stand here, uh, he still might be able to get in just by going around the other way. There's not a lot here, so I'm not going to worry about trying to, to deprive them of, of those units. But again, just to reiterate as well, I do like Warhammer 3, I like it a lot, but I, you know, Warhammer 2 is my favourite game of all time, and Warhammer 3 is just simply not my favourite game of all time, that's all. It's not like Warhammer 2 is a 10 out of 10 and this is a 0, that's, that's not how it is. Yeah, this game, 8.5 out of 10. Okay. Military presence of 1. But that could be sitting in a different settlement. It's probably over here. We shall weave the fates. Take them to ruin. Kill them all. No, I have to fight it manually. It amazes me how they can get worse from one generation to the next. Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing how bad of a job the main game team did. That they worked on a game for four years and they didn't even make it better than what came before. They did a good job of like the factions and the artwork, but when it comes down to the actual programming and design choices, like the sieges, complete and utter failure. Anyway, this is a pretty negative topic, so let's just move on to something else. We've, we've covered this loads and loads of times before. And this can end up in a bit of a spiral, so yeah, Warhammer 3, not as good as Warhammer 2, but you know, it's still, it's still fun. What are the Warhammer 2 strats that the AI thinks, thinks you're going to do? Um, it thinks you're going to use missile heavy armies, that's what it thinks it's going to do. So, missile heavy and bombardments, it tries really hard to dodge you. Also, if you hide all of your army, they do actively go and seek it out. Like, they go and search for it. But you can use that to your favor because they'll split up their forces to go and search. So, <laughs> you can use that to set up mini ambushes. They're, like, searching for you. They send a small force over to your <laughs> to your um, your troops. And then you can take it out with your with your, with your your guys while the rest of their army is looking elsewhere. So, there's a bunch of things that... Whatever, whatever technique that the AI does, you can pretty much always counter it. But for me, I think one of the biggest, stupidest things to see is the sieges. How they don't... They don't even really try to focus on holding their positions. Their important positions. They don't even try. Also, I've been noticing during Siege, they clump up all their units at some random spot. Like, there isn't even a, um, a supply location there, but for some reason they felt like that was the best place to put all their troops. Oh, 
through here. Oh, we in? Oh, they opened the gate for us. Nice, thanks. It's technically the gate bug, but it'll do it. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Also, running down lords, running down single entities with lords is so derpy. Yeah, there were a lot of problems in Warhammer 2, and it seems like nearly none of them were actually addressed. Like it will take them time to get them to be an okay stage. I don't think they'll ever be good. They are getting better though compared to launch to 2.4. No, they're not. They're worse now than they've ever been. How are they better? Okay, here's what you need to do to make sieges okay. This point over here should not give victory tickets. Okay, the only one that should give victory tickets is this one here. Stop making it so the defender has to take, uh, has to defend two different positions. Okay, especially considering they're too far apart like this. All right, change that. That's a that's a big step in helping sieges. The next thing is the AI needs to actually learn how to defend their sieges, which that is probably more difficult for them for sure. But having an AI that has no idea what to do, it's not acceptable. The AI needs to learn how to play the game, and then the next thing, and this is a bit more difficult. I think you need to make it so that the walls are actually worth something because there's never a fight at the walls. There's just no point. And I think one way to do that is get rid of butt ladders. People have been asking them to get rid of butt ladders for ages. Just just get rid of them. There's really no reason to do it. Because you don't ever need to build sieges or rams. You just don't need to do it. Every single unit in the game can break into a siege. Every single unit has the ability to crack open a, a gate or climb over the walls. So walls are nothing more than a, a speed bump. And people have been complaining about butt letters ever since Total War Warhammer 1. They've never, ever been received well. And Creative Assembly's like, nope, butt letters for 10 years. Because just it completely trivializes the walls. See, what they did in Rome 2 was actually an okay solution, where what they did was they give you two or three or four ladders that you have to attach to, to begin with, but that was it. You had to position those ladders correctly, and if you didn't, well then, that was it. Uh, Wolf's Paul, the 20 euro super chat. Hello, dear legend. Happy to see you live. Thoughts on aspiring champions? They are good units. Thanks super chat, dude. Appreciate you. Thanks for the support lately. Lord. Oh, 
sheep. Bring us the carnage. Yeah, they just sat there and watched it happen, basically. Pyrrhic victory! Why do you think the ladders weren't just added with the siege equipment? I think they... I think... You can trivialize that answer by answering it with like buzzwords like epicness <laughs> makes the battles more epic to have all of the guys climb up on the walls but nobody does that really or they do it against undefended settlements it's not optimal to do that Even in Shogun 2, though, all units could climb walls and destroy the gates. Yes, but there was a, there's a... That was well done, because if you tell a unit to climb a wall, a portion of those units will always fall off the wall. Even if they're, like, high-quality samurai units and monk units, you will always lose some men when climbing up the wall. If you destroy the gatehouse, then it'll damage the settlement after you've captured the settlement. And I'm not even saying that Shogun 2 had good sieges. It didn't. We stir only because we must. And also, with Shogun 2, you would oftentimes have to climb up multiple layers of walls and each time lose a portion of your troops. And they would also climb up very slowly. And so if you had a unit defending that particular position, they would climb up on the wall and just get immediately killed. Immediately. Whereas that doesn't really happen so much in Warhammer 3. They climb up on the walls really quickly. Even though they do get exhausted. Alright, so... That's a good start against the Ursan Revivalists. So yeah, I want to occupy the monolith of Faced Along, but give the Tower of Torment because we want that salt. Salt is good. I also want to smash these guys and vassalize them. Alright, what are we doing next? I think that's it for the turn. Yep. Alright, money's not too bad. That's good. And let's have a look at construction. Good, we've got a bunch of... Stop able to build, good. And yep. Good, more money is good. Yep. And I'm out of cash. Okay. All good. Right, we finished that tech, so now we can get a Nurgle. Oh, I should have done this earlier. Growth per region, plus 75 after winning a battle. That's pretty damn good, especially if you own multiple um, regions in a province. I should have done this at the beginning of the turn. That's okay, that's going to rocket our growth into... We're going to get to tier 5 real quick now. And I think our, um, our souls supply should be pretty good. Alright, after that, what do we want? Do we want Gaze of the Dark Gods for another perfect vigor for aspiring champions undivided chosen use? That's not bad. Souls gained from battles could be good, although our soul situation is not that concerning. Warband upgrade cost minus 20% for all units. Alright, let's, let's go with that. It only takes three turns, not that bad. Uh, what about some of these ones here? Mm. Alright, that'll do.
I know you're not a mod fan, but what if someone made a mod to significantly improve siege battles? Well, then I think that that mod would do very well. But uh, another thing is that we shouldn't rely on modders to fix the game. The... Creative Assembly should be forced to fix this stuff. Yeah, otherwise what they'll do is they'll just release rubbish games constantly that have super broken mechanics and then they'll just expect the modders to do all the real work. That's, we shouldn't allow that. Yeah, Clan Ferrix on borrowed time there. But yeah, any mod that can manage to make sieges better will probably be a very subscribed mod, for sure. There's nothing bad to it. Would you like it as a tribute to you if CA added cheese as a tradable resource to the game? No. I, I wouldn't care. Any Gifts of Chaos you deem essential 24-7? Yeah, the Shatterstone one. That's pretty essential. Yeah, I thought they were going to do that. Cough, Bethesda, cough. Yeah, well, you shouldn't shouldn't let them get away with that stuff. Uh, I did run out of money before. I don't know if I want them as an ally. I think I'll just take that and the money. What campaign is a solid challenge for an intermediate player? Probably Boris. Yeah, Boris Ursus has got a pretty challenging campaign. Drazoath the Ashen is challenging, but only at the beginning. Uh, Imric is reasonably challenging, I think. Oh, Kugath. Pugath Poofather. He's got a challenging campaign, but that's largely because his campaigns are shit. <laughs> his campaign mechanics. Literal figure and figurative shit. What if... Uh, what if cheese resource was actually OP, making cheese both literally and figuratively? I don't care. Um, any tips for getting the gore feast on a corn demon prince? 2,000 kills is a lot. Uh, go fight some Skaven. Or auto resolve. Doesn't, doesn't, you have to get 2,000 kills in one battle? Not for that one character. I'm actually not sure. Do you have a, uh, if you can, try to get an item that gives them some kind of uh, ability to dish out damaged infantry in large numbers, because that way you'll get 2,000 kills quite quickly. Alright, village. You got 8, 7, 15 units. Excuse me. Yeah, I wish it was there. Let's have a look at this. Military presence of three, which means he's got six units sitting in there. Six or seven units. Which is obviously not enough to be able to handle me. I think. Hang on, let me just have a look at his strength ranking real quick. Mm. Mm. I know that there's a big army here. There's Boris. Mm. Only Ursin commands me. I bow only to the bear. Yes, it's for the battle, not the Lord solo kills. Well then go fight a Skaven army that's full of Skaven slaves, Boris. that's easy. Also don't play on small unit scale. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's uh, adjusted for unit scale. Alright, if I... He won't make it there next turn. Alright, well then, it might be best to go into Ambush Dance. Try to lure him into a trap, if we can. 
Where's the oh there's borders right there. Yeah, see if he'll send some forces up this way. Not the end of the world if he doesn't. Alright. And... Alright, punching through this turtle gate here with this is going to be a bloody nightmare. If we have RK on, we can we can do that next turn, I suppose. But whoa, hang on, 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 hang on. I might actually be able to manage that if we. Ooh. Well, that'd that'd be a tough fight. I concur. The AI is awful. And if these guys here just use their speed, well, that's a that's really risky. Anyway, right, let's do this one here first. You love the latest video? That's good. Okay. Um, should we all do this? Mm. Mm, I don't want to fight another siege. <laughs> that was just pure laziness because I don't want to fight another siege. Alright, Enforced Confederation. There we go. And now we have the village idiot. Cool. And we're in Wei Jin. Nice. So village will be available in five turns. Cool. And he steals 5%, sorry, 15% of experience. Okay. Uh, teleport stance usage got minus 25%. We can't use that stance anymore. Oh well. Uh, the Path of Pain it became over for 39 months. Appreciate you, Legend. Alright, thanks, dude. I appreciate you, too. Oh! Archeon can come and help. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Turtle Gate. Is this their last settlement? No, they got another settlement somewhere. Oh, another gate. Okay. Though you warrant it, I shall not stoop to blind hatred. All right, so if I force march RK onto here, and then Kurlek will have to launch the attack. Ooh. Oh, right, we got intercepted. I gotta be more careful about how we're moving around here then. Um, just back off. I forgot about that. He used up most of his movement. Alright, just try to sneak in here a little bit. Okay, he's reinforcing. This I one's gonna have to force march there now. Okay, both are coming in. Uh, I could get him out of force march if I tag him out, but that'll do. Thinking how best to go about this. Should we hire any more units? I don't think we need to. Because here's what I'm thinking: we have essentially four characters on horseback. If I deny the reinforcements. There, there just simply will be 20... Oh, mate, it's all infantry. Except for this one. These ones here won't show up at the start. I'll have three 
places there for heroes. Okay. Okay. Alright, I, th I think we can do this and cheese the absolute shit out of it. Oh, we've got a bit of a red alert at the moment, guys. You're not missing anything, but a bit of a red alert. They got hella ranged. Yeah, but they're not going to use it. You, you just watch. This this battle here, if I'm right about what I'm going to do here, this will be the epitome of what's wrong with, with the AI. It's going to be hilarious, I think. <laughs> Get ready to see the AI just not be able to cope with this at all. I'm going to take zero casualties. Also, can we... I'm just curious. Are we able to get our reinforcements at the back here? I don't think we can. I think they fixed that. Yeah, they fixed that. Okay. Okay, stay back here. Mm, I prefer it if Archeon came in a bit quicker. 48 seconds. I suppose it doesn't really... Oh no, it's fine. Just, just move it. Alright, Archeon came in. And that's fine. Oh, he's on a manticore. <laughs> I need him on a horse. It's alright. Uh, I might be able to make use of that. Okay, now we need to bring in some of these guys. So to do that, I'm going to need to disband... Not disband, need to withdraw some of these. There we go, I got him. Okay. Here we go. Get inside the gate once we've done that. Should be fine. I should have put this guy on horseback. I forgot he was on a manticore. <laughs> Brilliant CJI. Watch this. Oh yeah, this one's lagging behind because it's in force march. Alright, that's fine. So we're capping a few points over here so that they 
spend some time recapping it because single entities, for some reason, have really strong capping power. I don't know why. Okay, we're already starting to get victory tickets, which we can't ever lose those victory tickets. Oh, but legend, they're defending this position. Sorcerer Lord. They dodge the bombardment, but they don't dodge Pit of Shades. from here. Oh well. Okay. Cool. Let's buy some time there if we can. Hold them back. Could you... That's not Archeon. Yeah, you just sit there and tank that for now. They're just staring at us at the moment. We're gaining victory tickets. Probably gonna have to abandon this point at some point soon. I'll try and hold on to this position as long as I can. Yeah, he's fine. So now I'm actually the defender of the city. <laughs> All we have to do is just make sure that nobody gets in here. And what we do is we have them chase after us the wrong way, rather than go, you oh, know, they're not going for it. Why not take Kolek up? I guess he gets that by range. Exactly, yeah. He's too big. You need. That's why I need him on a horse. Just needs to hold on a little bit longer. It's almost got it. Of course, I got this one here, which we can use to hold. Also, I think that these summons might possibly be able to. No, they can't. They can't cut the position. <laughs> Great CJI. <laughs> Do 
Do you need an army? Nope. Just give me four good men and I'll impregnate the bitch. <laughs> I think it's a casualties like a full strength army. souls. I don't think it's worth anything to occupy it. But if we occupy it, we can get our guys through here a lot easier. Could sack it first. Not sure if I have enough movement to occupy it, though. Yeah, just occupy it. And what I'll do is either abandon it or sell it to Yusak. Tempest incarnate. So yeah, we, we can get it. We can make it pretty defensible. That's seven. So yeah, we can upgrade that to tier three, which would give us... Seven units still. But there'd be more Chaos Warriors. Hmm, doesn't seem really worth holding on to. And I'm pretty sure I can sell it to them, right? Are you after yeah, I can just sell it to them. What? Oh, wait, wait, it's my demand. Um, Turtle Gate. Yeah, yeah, okay. Not this turn, because I need to get my guys through, and I think they're out of movement. Okay. Thing is, a, a gate allows us to get in and out through a lot quicker. Because I could, if that's their last settlement there, I could leave them with that gate. And vassalize them. There's nothing stopping me from vassalizing Cathay. I foresee destruction. Okay, time to take on Miao Ying. Now but obviously not this turn. Alright, let's get him through. Yeah, this one doesn't have enough movement. Well, actually, Kerlik, if you could stay there, and if we can get Archeon in here. God damn it. There we go. That way, Archeon will get more replenishment sitting inside the settlement. Okay. There we go. Ascent to Demonhood. Very nice. Cool. Do you plan on checking out Age of, of Wonders 4? I wasn't going to. Um... I don't have any sort of relationship with, with uh, Paradox, so it's, it wasn't on my to-do list. Should I? I don't know. Alright, let's see. Alright, cool. Well, there goes all my money. And how are we going over here? Yeah, he's already made his turn. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, what can we upgrade of Archeons? Not much yet. Okay, just gotta wait. Are you a god? Let 
was corrupt. Yes, lost in blood. Yeah, I would like Kolek to become a. Hang on, what about this? Yeah, let's get that. Yep, that's good. This serves the dark powers. Dominance. Need a boon. <laughs> right, and let's move on to next turn. Commandment available here. Good, we can use this to spread some chaos corruption. Okay, how many settlements does Lockyer have? have you sent to my Six. Okay, because it would be good to establish some more vassals out here. Alright, so we want to occupy Pome, even though it's not a, um... It's not a dark fortress, because we want access to that marble. But everyone else can be occupied by a vassal, which I'll probably just let that be Yusak. Um... I'll vassalize them, and I'll, I'll... Yeah, we'll see how we go. Vassalize everyone. My great Taurus instantly died when I set it to attack a wall. Is this a bug or I'm missing something? It's a bug that's been in the game forever. Ever since Warhammer 1, it is possible for a flying creature to be on a wall and fall off the wall and die. Especially... It especially happens if a unit that you're attacking is in transit from being on the wall and not being on the wall. Sometimes you'll attack a unit that's currently not spawned in and die. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it happen. Why have multiple armies with just one unit? Why not have fewer armies, but with more heroes instead? Well, I can't recruit those heroes. I don't have the unit capacity for them, and they're just not available at the moment. And there's no supply line, so it's not costing me anything extra. And this way I'm leveling up some lords that will eventually get armies later down the track. I would give them an army, except I don't have enough money. That's all. Already told me your offer. Any interest in early Kugath guide like you did for Carl Franz? He started us rough. Yes, my guide for Kugath would be to not play Kugath. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's that's all I can say about it. Yeah, there they are, being cowards. They recognize that they're about to lose, and rather than hold on to their last settlement, they let the AI take it. Just let the person take it. Does your game ever stutter after selecting armies and settlements? Yeah, the game stutters a fair bit. Yeah, I get used to it after a while, but it is annoying. Which Chaos faction can confederate? Just Archaean? Archaeon and Bellacor can confederate. They're the only ones. Bone Rattlers were destroyed. All right, all right, all right, all right. So. They're getting close to wanting a defensive alliance, so if I can get some money off them then. But we will see. Oh damn it, Archeon doesn't have enough movement to get to Pome. That's not good. What about Kolek? You got enough? Yes, okay, Kolek can do it. Alright, there's... How strong is she? Equal strength to us. She's a little bit busy fighting Clan Eshin as well. So her, her forces are probably down here, so it's not too far away. I think I'll do it anyway. But let's see what's going on up this way. Mm. 
Okay, doesn't look like they've expanded their military at all. Let's just keep sneaking our way down. Yeah, they're not recruiting. No higher power than I. You need a move. So I'll go into channeling stance, that actually might be better. Since they don't have any forces in this in general area, as far as I can tell. Yeah. That should be fine. Okay, just uh, do the exact same thing again over here, but before I forget, we need to switch him back to a horse mount. Oh my god, yeah, I forgot how much health he fucking loses when, when you switch his mount. God. Okay, oh, man, there's a way around that. Let us corrupt. So yeah, characters that have had their hit points augmented, when you switch their mounts, it uh, it also changes their hit points. So you come out, and then we'll switch it again. There you go. <laughs> Fix it right up. There is only war. I am mounted god. Okay, Clan Nation has been discovered, so we can offer to join war. Although, if I do that, then my allies won't get involved, and I kind of want them to. Heed my words well. For Cathay to remain safe, you must die. Nice. What? Slaughter! Mm, I would order resolve, but we need time for Archeon to fully restore his army. Time where Legend is at? It is 4 p.m. currently. Legend, are you going to do the Destroyer Doom stack? Eventually, uh, for um. Also, Anton, I should make you a um, moderator because you're a content creator as well. Uh, yeah, the Destroyer. You mean the Kadai Destroyer Doom stack? Yeah, it's on my to-do list. Just, I'm not prioritizing Doom stacks that much. I don't find making the Doom stack videos that interesting. Why can't Citra Confederate, you think? Mm, there's a multitude of reasons why they've disabled... Well, potential reasons why they've disabled Confederations for Tomb Kings. Uh, I don't really... I would much prefer it if you could Confederate. But you can't. Okay. Reinforcement time is really short, so that's fine. And let's get ready to punch through here. Oh, Kulik. Sorry. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter. Just stay there. I sent in a save a couple of days ago. Oh, did you? Um, yeah, I've, I've gotten so many save files. I just haven't responded to a lot of them. But yeah, I, I might keep an eye out for... Um, if, if you sent it in a couple of days ago, it's probably buried. So bump it so that it goes to the top of my list. And I'll, I'll keep an eye out for it. Uh, Alex Reed did a five dollar super chat. Thanks for the stream, legend. No, worries, dude. Thank you for the super chat. Be cool if you can make this bridge be destroyed. 
Come on, guys, hurry up. Yeah, keep them pinned down while we do some shenanigans. I do wish that they would let the other Warriors of Chaos factions confederate. Like, it really doesn't bother me at all if, say, Sigvold confederated Archeon. Like, I don't, I'm not bothered by it. Or even if, like, Arche sorry, not, uh, if, if Valkyr confederated, um, Sigvold or Azazel, it wouldn't bother me at all. I guess you could always download a mod for that kind of stuff if you really wanted. Okay, we got a bit of a red alert. But that's okay, it's only a siege battle. Having some choppy internet at the moment, it seems. Why do you stream at a different time now? Because uh, this is more convenient for me. So basically, the time of me hardcore trying to be like the biggest streamer is over. I don't care anymore. So I just stream whenever I want to stream. If I want to stream, I'll stream. If I don't want to stream, I, I'm not going to stream. And I'll stream at a time that's convenient for me. And right now it's convenient for me. So. That's all there is to it. I'm doing what's best for me now. And people could always watch the VOD later, if that's what they want. Uh, the Flyest Nihilist did a $5 super chat. Do you think if they improve the Shogun 2 Siege mechanics in Warhammer 3, it would improve them significantly, or does the whole system need to be redone? I don't think you can just shoehorn the, um, the Shogun 2 Siege mechanics into Warhammer 3. I just don't think you can do that. Um, I think the whole thing... It doesn't need to be redone. It needs tweaks. I mean, I like the layouts. But the fucking supply line, the supply point system is stupid in its current structure. And the AI is just really bad. So I don't think you need to start again from scratch. If all Warriors of Chaos had full force confederate, which lord would you be playing with now? I'd probably still be playing with Archeon. That's what I felt like playing. You're the biggest streamer in my heart legend. Oh, I actually still am the biggest biggest streamer. I still get the most number of concurrent viewers. It's just that I'm not trying to do it anymore. Yeah, it was just too rough for me just constantly doing the graveyard shift for years on end. Especially um, after the launch of Warhammer 3. It just wasn't worth it anymore. It's nice to still get good views of them. Yeah, like 2300 is nothing to scoff at. It's still really good. I'm happy with that. Would Broly from DBZ be able to defeat the demon armies? Only if he had magical attacks. <laughs> Stupid question. Alright, I want to occupy this because it has something that we want. Give me 
Oh good, we got the marble straight away. Very nice. Reducing construction costs, minus 5% for all buildings faction-wide, will save us thousands of gold over time. But the downside here is that it's uh, not easy to defend it. Yes. Bring the storm. I'll have this world. Oh, now you can bloody launch the attack. Good, you'll be back to full strength next turn. I foresee destruction. Let's be about this. So what I could do is, in order to keep the settlement defended, I could leave a a small force here. It's not going to be a minor settlement battle, though. Yeah. It's all good. Okay, that's all good there. And I'm pretty sure I moved this dude over here, didn't I? Yep. yep. Actually, he can move a little bit closer. If that really matters. All right. All right. Any construction that we need to do? Did you fight Zatan or make him an ally? I fought Zatan and I subjugated him, so he's a vassal. I don't make allies. You submit. It's your only choice. Okay, that's all I can do. I don't have enough cash. Oh, we're making decent cash now, though, so that's good. Vassal tribute is... Ooh, look at that! 405 gold! Rolling in vassal tribute. Gonna make our way to Nangal. But I really feel as though... Yeah, the military presence of 18 there. I think that's where Miao Ying might be. Because she was fighting Clan Eshin. She'll obviously start coming at us now. I am going to recruit another lord here, but really just as a scout. The village is available in four turns. This guy here has already been recruited before. Okay, let's get you. That's good. My lord, Sincha, please. By the Eldritch, I see. Okay, and let's move on. Let me just check some diplomacy. It is mm. I usually like to conquer all this way. Your will. Oh yeah, Tong. Enter Definitely them. do that. Are you after a drink? The tribe consents. Delectable. I know all. Mm. Winter Tooth Defensive Alliance. Oh, these guys here are almost ready to become a vassal, just straight up. I could pay them this much to just make them a vassal right now, but the problem here is that I would really want the Crystal Spires, and they will never give that up. No matter how much they like me, so I have to take that off them. Could be interesting having a Zinchi an ally, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, I got a little bit more money, which I'll just save up to next turn. Let's move on. Oh! They brought more force than I thought they were going to. How bad is it? That's not so bad. Alright, if I order resolve it, I only lose a Marauder with no experience. But it will completely wipe him out. For the lazy. Fine. Yeah, it's fine. And I think I'll take their souls. Nice. I'm happy with that. wasn't expecting them to be able to hold for the oh okay good I guess seems like Astrogoth is farming them for labor
What's the benefit of hiring a lord over here as a scout? Sorry, I'm a noob. The benefit in this situation, I would actually prefer to use a, a, a hero. I just didn't have a hero available. I want Prince Ograx, or whatever his name is, to, to stay with Archeon. I didn't have any other heroes available here at the moment. Otherwise, I totally would have. But what I can do is just send the, a lord to go and scout, and then just immediately disband him, and then recruit another one, and then I can get that lord back in five turns, so it's not really going to cost me much. And there's no supply line, so it's truly really not a big deal. Seems like they actually gave up on Clan Ferric there. I guess they consider me more of a threat now. Oh, this is interesting. Zatan is sending some forces to come and deal with Astrogoth. Is that Miao Ying? I am no one okay, good. There's Miao Ying, and she's in channeling stance. And she'll reinforce this position here, which will be a field battle. Interference will cost you your life. I think we might even be able to order resolve it. Okay, so this dude here that I just recruited, I just wanted to use him. I can see there's some armies over here. I just want to see what's going on. Ooh. Oh, that's a lot of force. Lord of Mountains. Okay. Interesting. Alright, that's interesting. Uh, let's come back to that in a second. It will be a field battle, and these units that are really badly damaged will perform really badly in order to resolve. Alright, I'll fight it manually. So in this case here, I think we just rush at them. Not much really else we can do. Having to kill 30 plus Dark Elf Arcs of Wormer 2. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't happen so much in Wormer 3. So they very rarely even come across an Arc these days. Apparently Lock here eventually spams shitloads of them if he manages to gain ground. Right. Let's soften them up a little bit with a bit of Burning Head. Sometimes the angling of Burning Head just does not go where you tell it to. That can be very frustrating with the spell. Yeah, that didn't go the right way either. Okay, that's it. Mess them around a little bit. Here we go.
Good. Don't give them any chance to shoot. That would be good. Cool. I don't think any units are going to get wiped out. In fact, I think that casualty is going to be pretty low. What's your opinion on Chaos Warhounds in general? Are they trash? They're trash in combat, but they do have a use. Their use is basically just run down enemy units and pin down missile units. Outside of that, their, their combat's not very good. Okay, there we go. We won. Hey, Anthony Lorenzen, how's it going, dude? Also, guys, we haven't been defeated yet in a single battle. <laughs> Doing a no-defeat run with Warriors of Chaos is not too difficult. I'm not trying to get a no-defeat. We just haven't suffered a defeat yet. Okay, this has got salt. I want salt, so I'm going to take it. Should I snack it first though? Yeah, I only needed a tier one, so. We shall weave the fates. Now, as long as you Boris isn't right around the corner, which I don't think he is. I think he's sitting over here. Yeah, I think he's at the Pillar of Skulls. We should be alright there. Looks like this one wants to go over to the Tower of Torment. I don't know if I can get there before them. And give me the salt, which will give us growth per region plus 10 after winning a battle or provinces. So if we have 7.5 of these, then we don't need the um... Yeah, don't need to repair it. Then we don't need the Nurgle gift anymore. Okay, that's good. Alright, then about this. Those forces over here will probably be quite easy to deal with. Looks like there's a fair few Jade Warriors. But one thing to keep in mind is that they're like at the very edge of our movement, so it might be better to lure them into a trap. So what I want to do in this situation is... There's no way that Miao Ying... Oh no, Miao Ying could reach it. She's got loads of campaign movement range. Hmm... Okay, that's interesting. I'm not sure if these guys here would be able to reach Pome. It's possible. But I think I should go over to Terracotta Graveyard and beat the crap out of Miao Ying. Hmm. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Yeah, I'm going to do that. Alright, I want Archeon to get the defeat trait. What? I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Shit. Damn, that's some good order resolve. Oh, fuck. I'll take that. Well, shit, a brick. That was easy. I thought I was going to have to fight that manually. <laughs> okay, uh, as much as I'd like to sack it, I think I'll run out of movement. Which actually doesn't matter, because someone else can just occupy it. Yeah, okay, then you occupy it over here. And then we gift it to... You sack. To be honest, I'd rather be raiding, but you have my time. That's Pome, wasn't it? No, it was Terracotta Graveyard. No value to me. You have it. You did shit. The tribe consents. And I think I'll give them Turtle Gate as well. They don't have enough money. That's okay. You can ask for more money than what they've actually got. I don't want Turtle Gate. Accepted. You have it. Cool. Okay, now we need to set up a trap for them, so I'll put Kolek in ambush dance here. And I'll leave these here, and we'll see if they launch the attack. They're not going to be able to reach Archeon, not from that distance. I can't believe that order resolve was so so good. And we should have gotten her defeat trait. Yeah, very cold, still aloof. Three melee defense for the Lord's army. I think that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Is this ready to be upgraded or does it need it needs one more experience to get to chosen? Yeah. Giving him a chosen doom stack, I think it works pretty well. Alright, he's got Ascension to Demonhood, Chosen of the Gods, that's a good one. Let's go with that. Melee attack for all non-demonic infantry units. That's pretty much what I'm going to give him, so let's start going down that way. He doesn't need to finish his magic line right now. Uh, this is... They've still got some pretty good units there. Let me just see. I might give Kolek a little bit more stuff. How's their strength ranking now? Equal. Okay. Do allied recruitment. I didn't build any outposts anywhere. I suppose I should. Let's let's build an outpost. Okay, so I would get Chaos Dwarf units from here, except I'll only ever be able to get trash from them. Just goblin laborers, so that's not worth it, so I'm not gonna do that. Or Norskin trash. It's not worth doing any Nors any um Norskin recruitment right now. Oh, what the fuck is this dude doing here? Oh, it's a convoy. Um, the Ovla did a 50 NOK super chat. Thank you for the show. Always fun when you kick butt. How come you don't cause fuckers whenever you're done with the video? I just feel like that was a call back to a bygone era. It doesn't really represent the kind of person I am now. So I just decided I didn't want to do it anymore. That, that's all there is to it. It's just, it's just really immature, I feel like. So I just, I just don't want to do it anymore. It's not like YouTube forced me to do it. None of my videos ever get demonetized whenever I do it. I just, just didn't want to do it anymore. I think it's a bit chat. Okay. We are going to want more heroes. Let's get that going. 
I don't think we really need the growth buildings anymore. Which I'll replace later. No. Okay. Alright, so we just finished that one there. That's good. thinking what we should get next. There's some good corn gifts. Alright, let's let's make our way towards corn. Yeah. The other and gods are picky. They are, but it, it had no nothing to do with the algorithm. That wasn't why I decided to do it. All right. I am no slave. Yeah, if they decide to attack Pome, that actually no, could be a difficult fight. Chaos. They can manage it, but you know what might make it easier is if I actually ambush them. So let's put in front here, and we'll see if that works. Fairly low chance of it actually working though. See if Boris wants peace. If we can find the core, then yeah, we nah. will drink. Okay, that's fine. Sorcerers. So greetings. Peace, Ashwood, and core. Okay, let's move on next turn. Do you get more time with your wife for a better work life balance with your new approach? Yeah, of course. Yeah, here comes Boris. Anthony Lorenzen did a ten dollar super chat. Just some D in your P. Oh, you know I do like that D in my P. Thanks for the thanks for the super chat, dude. Appreciate it. Well, that's a call back and a half. Yep. He's just like fuck those orcs. Missed the skill point there, my man. Doesn't matter, I'll just deal with it next turn. No goblin laborer doomstack. Well, I would only be able to put four in an army. Oh good, that one's moving back, which means their other settlement is vulnerable. And these guys here look like they're about to get wiped out by Boris. How's the dog? Are you fostering any other moments or in the near future? No, no plans to foster anything right now. Oh, good job, Ferric. Nice. Keep you going for a little bit. What does the creature want? Okay, whatever. They paid for it, so. Oh yeah, typical. I'm about to lose my settlement, so I'm not going to defend it. <laughs> whatever, who cares? That was pretty much free to confer uh, to vassalize them before. Now, if I stood over here, I could come and assist them. Because. At some point, we're going to have to deal with Boris. Because he'll be able to maintain a full stack even without a settlement. Alright, so the Cathay didn't launch the attack. My magic is yours. Okay. 
Looks like they ran back to Ming Zhao. Ming, Ming Zhu. Despite the fact that the ambush here. Oh, what's this? Yuck, go away. <laughs> Actually, I probably shouldn't have done that. Alright, next thing for us to do. Are they recruiting another... Uh, they haven't recruited another army yet. But I think I want to vassalize them. I need my, my goon squad. So, you come with. I serve only the dragons. Spirit of Morka. Yes, bring corruption. A chaos. And yeah, I'll send this one as well. And Kolek, yeah, you just stay there and see if we can catch these guys off guard if they could make their way over here. Of course, his army is fairly trashy, but try to hold this position. This should be sufficient for making our way over here. Can't believe how many armies they've got already. Alright, then over here. Uh, it'll take Boris a fair few turns to get to the Monolith. Uh, sorry, to uh, Monolith of Festivalung, yeah. By which point I could get to the Tower of Torment, okay. which would be a tier 3 settlement by now, yeah. It's probably his best settlement. Give that to the Tong. Ooh. Ooh. Is that fully blown up or is that Clan Molders doing? Talk quick before mm. I get hungry again. Mm, that could be good. If I can get there. Oh, these guys are still around though. Barely. Alright, let's go and take the Tower of Torment. There's a small military presence, but we should easily be able to take it out. I should be able to make it there next turn. Can't you level those Marauders? What's going on here? Let's have a look. No. Uh, I could upgrade this to Chaos Warrior of Slanesh. I could do that. They can't go back to being undivided. Hell Scourge or just regular Chaos Warrior. Pretty high melee defense with the Hell Scourges. 57 compared to 47. Much lower weapon strength, though. But also poison attack. Yeah, I think I'll go with the Hell Scourge. Why not? Alright, looks like we can reach Snake Gate next turn. Can they reach? Yeah, they should be able to reach. Cool. Cool, so we'll actually make them a Cathayan Vassal. Why not? In Colex army. Ah, right. Yes. Thank you very much. So I could make... Oh, hang on. I could make it a... Um, Forsaken of Nurgle. I don't know why I would. Could make it a Chaos Spawn. I don't know why you would do that, though. Chaos Spawn, not that great. Okay, that all seems fine. I don't have a whole lot of money, so I'm not going to bother constructing anything. I think Public Order's fine everywhere. Let's just uh, see how things progress there. Okay. 
Alright, well, because they didn't do anything. How is chat so orderly with 2.3k? Okay, so at the beginning of the stream, chat was all over the place. So we're five, nearly six hours into the stream. So everybody's sort of settled down now. They've they've sort of done with their trolling. That's why it's so orderly. At the beginning of a stream, it's fucking pandemonium. But once once you do a couple of hours, people calm down. You know, an ecumenical manner did a twenty-five dollar super chat. A legend stream on a Monday, best way to start the week. Yeah, cool. That's good. Glad it started your week well. Thanks, Super Chat. Yeah, pretty much at the start of every stream I've ever done, it's always it always gets pretty crazy at the start, but people calm down pretty quickly. Ah, oh, well, there goes one of my vassals. Thanks, Astrogoth. Yeah, fuckhead. No, what are you doing? Occupy, you bitch. Not so then, fell asleep. Yep, well, that too then. Oh! No! Oh, why didn't you occupy it? Damn morons. Good, we got Zatan the Black coming down. Oh, look. They, oh. Got confederated, which means I can't make it with a vassal now. Dang, you Mongolians. Ruined my plans for the shitty wall. Yeah. And you're not always boss anymore. I don't even know. What the hell? Settlement gets sacked or something. Yeah, must have. It's something tier one. Ooh, only just had enough movement to reach it. And there's four units sitting there. It should be a pretty easy battle. And these guys here, they look like they're utterly beaten. But administer pleasure just as easily. Yeah, they look like they're utterly beaten. Now, you, could you stop being a moron? I want you to actually occupy the settlement. Alright, I want this guy. I'm gonna borrow this army again. What? I want them to come over here and defend the challenge stone because this is um, dangerous. Well, capturing the gate settlement wouldn't exactly be difficult, but I wanted a Cathayan vassal and they, she, she cock blocked me from it. Serve only the dragons. I will destroy. Okay, opportunity to fight this one. Direct mm. the dark gods. Yeah, that actually might be too much for Kolek's army. My will does yeah, go back into ambush dance and just wait. Actually, don't even go into ambush dance, just wait inside the settlement. Tempest incarnate. His chance of ambush is next to nothing anyway. Uh, Pelican Collector did a final awesome jet. Hey, Legend, how many turns do you usually do for a campaign for? Uh, for how long do you think it would take to paint the map as Archeon? The short answer to all of that is I don't know. Um, I usually play about 30 turns into a campaign before I stop. <laughs> so I'm actually at that point where... Because about 30 turns into a campaign is where I've sort of reached critical mass in Wormer 3, which does seem to be the case here as well. Ah, oh, the Beastmen. Oh, and... To touch a dragon Juju. Fucking Juju. Okay. Never stop. What? Your 
chaos. Let's be about this. The gods direct me. Dominance. Moving. The storm of chaos gathers. Okay, we want to not control large armies, that way all of these guys here don't show up. And we just do exactly what we did last time, except this time this guy's on foot. Uh, not on foot, on horseback. And, and we'll have another one as well. So we'll have five horses rather than three, so it should be even easier. I'll have to withdraw three of these guys, but that's not going to be a problem since I'm not going to use them anyway. Lots of crashes, low FPS, ETZ. Yeah, I'm having a few of those problems. Still playable, but there are some stability issues. How is Grimgor doing? I haven't really checked up on him, but I might be able to get him to go to war with Athjagoth, actually. That could actually save my ass. If they park the artillery on the town square, that could actually be a big problem, because even if you wipe out their crew, they can sit there and still cap it. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Alright, three units need to leave. Does it matter which ones? No. Just send those three. Wolfball chucking in a 200 euro super chat with the cheese warrior dude. Thanks, dude. That's so generous of you. And that's not, not the first time you've done that. You you don't need to do it, but I, I really greatly appreciate the money. Thanks for super chat, dude. Well, I was going to wrap up, but I think I'll keep going. If, uh, as thanks for that. Okay, let's come over here. But yeah, 200 euros is no small amount, so greatly appreciated. Alright, come on, through here. In we go. Alright, alright, the artillery's not there, that's good, let's go. Who needs an army when you have five individual dudes that the AI doesn't know how to deal with? And a way to win the battle that completely takes out of the equation the size of remaining forces. <laughs> In a way that the AI is not programmed to deal with. That's enough for two packets of Siggies. Why does it... Oh, I'm not going to get into that. Why don't we just... Whatever. Let's stop them back down here first. Looks like they're trying to send the artillery up to here. <laughs> it's it's going to take them a while. Alright, we're only getting five victory tickets because this one here needs to have this unit routed first. Good, once they break, you get more victory tickets.
done. Oh, there we go. Ooh, tough fight. All these, these uh, Cathay fortresses. Oof. That was close. That was very close. You know. <laughs> two full stacks. Epic fight, yep. Cool. Alright, what are the options here? I think I might actually raise it. Hey, you got any, you got any money for me? Has it been 10 turns since I asked for money? No, I'll be able to offer it next turn. Alright, well next stop for us is Nangao. You need a boon? My which I see. Spread ruin on them. Okay. Uh, Blake... Aldridge did a five dollar super chat. It's three a.m. I'm hammered. Perfect time for a legend stream. Cheers, brother. No worries, dude. Thanks for super chat. All right, let's see about Grimgore's war over here. Over here. Let's see if we can get him to go to Warth Astrogoth. You dare approach me? If I don't like what you say, Mork will be. He went to war with the servants tonight. of the Conclave. That's interesting. Alright, that looks good. Two levels up for that as well. This guy's in his immortality. It's nice. It's time to go Nurgle. Yeah, let's go, Nurgle. Here we go. Virulent strength. Yeah, worse. That's good. That's that's better than what he had before. There's a two thousand kills one, and that was not oh, okay. Well, overall, better with him. Uh, his level is a lot lower, but if we go with Chaos Commander and Stench Ridden, we get physical resistance and Locus of Fecundity, which is really good. Really, really good there. Take that. Slows him down a little bit, but I think it's worth it. What mount is he on? We should have him on the Chaos... No, I can never monitor Chariot. That'll be fine. What? Oh, I took him out of the army. Huh. Okay, if that's the case, put him back on the horse. All right then. Village? Oh yeah, yeah. When's Village come back? Next turn we can bring Village in. I'm not gonna bother leveling up those other guys. All right, let's have a look out here. Yep, All right, we got this to do. Probably have to fight it manually. 
Don't remember that happening when you defeat a hero? Yeah, me neither. That's, that's the first time it's happened to me. Alright, should I auto this? Hmm. But I want to be lazy. I should probably fight this manually. Let's just do it. I didn't want to fight this battle manually, but they forced my hands. I just With uh, the battle against Boris coming up pretty soon, I think uh, we need to try to make sure we're in good shape. Plus, we'll need another army. There's no way one army is going to be enough to deal with Boris's army, because he's going to have um, he's going to have bears. And he's going to be really high level, because he's fought a whole bunch of battles down south. But we've crippled him economically, so we can't recruit loads of units, at least. So that's good. Can Archeon confederate Bellicor? Yes, he can. Man, it almost consistently goes the wrong way. Gotta predict... It's the only spell that's so unpredictable like that. All the other wind spells do exactly as they're told. Thing is, if I go this way, then it will do this. Sometimes it should go the right way, right? Yeah, that's a, that time it went the right way. Okay, that's good. Oh, why do I live one line? I think over here. What number out of 10 do you think Arcane is at the moment? 8 out of 10? Yeah, 8 out of 10 seems fair. Yeah, 8 out of 10. Doesn't really provide much for his faction. No Warriors of Chaos Lord does. this way because I need these guys to get around the flanks and it's currently quite well protected. Okay, good. Now we can get around them. Okay, we've got this. Doug Shields did a five dollar super chat. The cocaine and booze is all done. All I, you're all I have now. This was so hard to say and haven't slept in days. Uh, okay, dude. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks for your first ever super chat as well. Consume my chaos. I am 
the only constant. The dark gods command me. So be it. Your will. True power. I bow. Sorcerer Lord. He's getting wrecked. Alright, army losses should be any moment now. There it is, yep. Yeah. Why is his name green? It's because he's a member. Yeah, so gray is pleb, green is member, blue is um, a uh, moderator. <laughs> pleb. All right. Mm. I've only got enough movement to do one of these options here. Honestly, I think gifting that to Vassal is probably the best choice. Because I'll get some money. Because if I sack it, I won't have enough movement to occupy it. Yeah, just gift it straight up. And does that damage the settlement when I do that? Yeah, it did. Okay. It was corrupt. Alright. Alright, so Boris is on his way. He's probably going to come to the monolith of Festerlung. Probably. What? Now, the chaos. Okay, let's see here. Grady's units. How is Hashet's wind spell compared to the Wind of Death and Vangeist? Uh, it's nowhere near as powerful. Not even close. It's it's still a good spell, especially if it's Astrogoth using it, but Wind of Death and Vangeist Revenge are way better than those spells. Sickness is yeah, that's weird. Alright, yeah, next stop is Nango. And you got a bunch of levels up on those characters, but I can't bother dealing with that. And we get Village back next turn. Alright, got a bit of money, let's see what we can construct. Good. Upgrade the Howling Citadel and get more cash coming in. Could also be a good idea to get some... These Exalted Heroes for dealing with Boris, because... I don't think Boris's army is particularly good at handling them, especially if they're on foot. Okay, well there goes my cash. That's why we gotta get more of these um, marble resources. So good for reducing construction costs. Alright, let's move on. Hang on, there was a... Um... Yep. Let's move on. 
Hellhammer? Yes, Hellhammer, that's the spell. Be interesting to see if um, Kazrak will turn that gate settlement into a herdstone. That would be interesting. I learned how to play Legendary from watching you. Consider that five bucks payment for lessons. Uh, no worries, dude. Yeah, you don't owe me anything. You don't have to pay me for that. I get paid via ad revenue. So, don't worry about it. The good thing about Chaos Warriors is that you only afford one building a turn. At the beginning, if you can get enough of the marble resources, eventually it's all globally completely free. Ooh, I don't really care if they capture that, because it's just you sack. More like you suck. Yeah, they won. Okay, that's fine. At least it wasn't uh, Miao Ying there gaining a lot of experience. She's still wounded. Which resource gives the best global bonus, in your opinion? Well, it depends on what you want out of it. There's so many good ones. Probably gold. I, I think what gold does is provide chaos corruption in all regions, even in regions you don't own. So if you have enough gold regions, you can cause corruption everywhere. That's that's pretty interesting. Um, oh, 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 they did. I wonder, can I vassalize them? <laughs> can I can I turn him into a vassal? Now that he owns a settlement, this could be interesting. What if what what, what if I turn that into a vassal? I don't have any treaties with him. Oh no, I do. Oh, I've got an aggression pact with him. Ah, oh, crap. I'll have a look. Can I just cancel it? No, I, I need construction costs. My quest battle. Don't worry about that right now. Alright. Boris is basically taking these guys out of the equation, but he's doing it in the slowest way he possibly could. Vilic is back, so that's good. It is possible to make them a vassal, yeah. I shouldn't have got this non-aggression pact with them, so I'll have to come back and do this later. But, yeah, give me some money. And then fuck off. <laughs> oh, two turns, okay. Yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait. Yeah, but that could be interesting, turning him into a vassal there. I don't think I've ever made a beastman faction a, va a vassal. I foresee destruction. Anyway, right now we got bigger problems to deal with. Are you at war with uh, Miao Ying? No. Nangao is my next turn. I can't remember what pottery does. I feel like it's useful, but I can't remember. I think it's uh, supply, extra supplies, but I'm just, I just can't remember for the life of me. Um, what? 
Ooh, interesting. Interesting. By the Eldritch, I see. Enslave the Southerners. Astrogoth, how about that peace treaty? No. Why not raiding stats? It wouldn't have given up much, much money. And also, I need to replenish a little bit. So, I'd prefer replenishment as opposed to 20 gold. Actually, let's have a look. Let's have a look. We might actually make some cash out of this. Now I can't go back into that stance. Uh. Yeah, all right. I'll just leave it in rating stance. Five hundred gold is better than nothing. No, actually, then I get that stupid rating trait, which takes up a slot. So no, I don't want to. I'll go into channeling stance instead. <laughs> no, I don't want the shitty rating trait. Takes up one of your 40 slots. Ah, oh, fuck. This guy here is... His ass handed to him. Channeling for single lords? Yeah, I should probably do that as well. Alright, like I said before, I'm going to need more than one army to deal with Boris. So, village should be. How are we going for those heroes? Village should be okay at handling him. But we need a Zinch focused army. What what units does he boost? What's his doom stack? So barrier hit points for him. Oh, that's right, spawn of Zinch. That's what we want. A spawn of Zinch doom stack. Reduced upkeep cost 50% for him. Yeah, okay, well, that's not going to be easy. To oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. If I... If I get enough Forsaken... Oh, hang on, I've got a Forsaken here. Yeah, yeah, what I could do is... Oh, I need to research the Mark of Zinch, though. So that's over here. Okay, that's not too far away. Because, yeah, I don't think I can give that the mark of Zinch yet, could I? Yeah, I can't. I can't um, give it the mark yet. Just give him some units and then we'll figure it out as we go. Okay, and then over here... Yeah, that's right. Put these guys in channeling. Oh, they're already at max magic anyway. That one's not. There's that one. Okay, that's fine. And... Kolek is keeping an eye on this situation here. How did they not take any damage? I'll once again go into ambush dance and just see if we can lure them up this way. Right, that's the faction leader. And I said this guy here didn't friggin' obey the order. I told him to bloody occupy this and he didn't do it. Alright, uh, well I don't have any money for construction. That's okay. 
Seems like Clan Eshin is closing in on Miao Ying. But of course, we want Miao Ying as a vassal, but I want her to just have like one crappy settlement. Iron, we'll keep that. It provides armor for Chaos Warriors. Not a huge deal, but better than nothing. So ideally, we want her to be vassalized at Nan Li. Ideally. Okay, let's move on. The Eye of Syrian has already told me your offer, but I will hear it from your lips. No. Alright, there goes that Slanish faction. If he occupies that, then we could take it off him so that I could get that settlement. It's not too bad. No champions with Archie. Is there a reason? Aspiring champions? Uh, we just haven't been able to recruit it with him. That's all. Also, his Doomstack is a is chosen, not aspiring champions. Takes time. Oh my god. <laughs> Widrioth all the way over here. <laughs> what the hell? Was that Torgavan? It's, like, it's a minor Widow faction. I mean, I know they're the endgame crisis, but still. Where was that again? Over here. That was... Yeah, Widrioth. What the fuck are they doing here? That's a long way to travel. Oh god. Is the full Wood Elf invasion coming all, all the way over here soon? Hmm. But I want to be the endgame crisis. I serve only the dragon. Touch of Dragonborn is blasphemy. Hmm. I want to sort of sneak Colek to go and grab this. Do they have just three settlements left? Yeah, three. So we occupy that one, occupy this one, and vassalize them there. Thing is, Colek's not really strong enough to be able to handle both of these armies, so he has to sneak around a little bit. If we have a look, we should be safe if we stand about here. Because, yeah, that's only just within their movement range. and But they do have extra movement range they could generate. Guess we'll just see. No! It is decreed by me! One more turn. And then, so, 11 turns before we can properly smash him. You dare. Wipe that out. Oh, we can just auto this. Nice. Destroy. 
To destruction, we shall weave the fates. Go now, they will be dominated. Hey, Radiant Dash, how's it going? And yeah, we just thought of that. Yep, that damage is nice and spread out, fairly good. Good, and we'll occupy that. Good, another dark fortress for us. So at the challenge stone, let's get rid of the growth building and think about building a defensive building. So it looks like shit's gonna hit the fan there fairly soon. Use teleport stance. Oh, I don't get it. I bow only to the bear. Wow, he can actually reach the monolith of Festalone from there. Alright, what other troops? Yeah, hang on. Come you fool! What do we got here? Not much. I'm not gonna get a chance to put these guys in the army. But let's recruit him anyway. I'll slaughter in your days. Nurgle elevates me. Virulent strength. Okay. Well, what was the trait we got? Hideous visage, marked hero. Yep. Well, you always get marked hero. Blessed and diabolical disease. splendor. <laughs> Garbage. Whatever. Alright, I want this guy here in ambush dance. Let's see if we can launch a trap for Boris. Our chance of ambushing isn't very high though. Now put it behind the settlement there. That cost a fair bit of money. Have you encountered any of the wood elves yet? Yeah, they're on the way. If we have a look over here, we can see that Widrioth is on the way. Yeah. Some extra defenses here wouldn't hurt. Oh, spices, what does that do? Yeah, melee attack for Chaos Trolls and Feral Manticore. Alright, fuck, I'm gonna get that. That's gonna be really good. So, spices is another really good one to get as Royals of Chaos. Because I've got a few trolls here and there. Funny thing is, with Chaos Trolls and, and the Warriors of Chaos, you can actually make them a really strong doom stack. As long as you don't encounter magical attacks. They're going to have ridiculously high melee attack and really good physical resistance. And of course, they've got regen by default. Okay. Alright, we'll see how that goes. Let's move on. Yep. Uh oh! Close defeat. Really? Well, we set up the trap and I recruited as much as I could. I've essentially got two full stacks here. 
The only things of any real concern are these motherfucking warbear riders. And they're anti-large. We don't have that much large units in the army. As long as we use those, avoid them, we should be fine. Boris himself is going to be a pain, but they don't have any air roof effect attack. A lot of archers, but if we go wide and pin them down, should be fine. There's also Tsar Guard. Yeah, I think we're in for a bit of a fight here. I think we're in for a bit of a fight. Alright, let's do this. Can you manage slaves as Dark Elf late game? Right now I have Empire or Lustrian control... 11k slaves, free spots to have, but I barely manage 2 to 3k per turn. I don't know, man. I don't play Dark Elves. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like CA should make Legend the endgame boss for all Total War games. No, that's to be silly. You don't, you don't want to put YouTubers in the actual game. You can put references to them, but don't put them actually in there. That'd be silly. All right, when does this come in? 53 seconds, okay. All right, Village, what spells have you got? Pink Fire of Zinch is fairly cheap. They don't have a lot of wins. What other abilities do we have? Hmm. Oh, I've also got Infernal Gateway. That's good. I don't think that Boris is going to wait for our forces over here to come at us. So, I think we need to distract him. We do not want to blob up. This is, this is a very, very bad situation for blobbing. And this, unfortunately, this section here is only going to benefit them. Unless, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ooh, that's, that might actually work for us. How fast is that army? Not fast at all. Um, do it the other way around. Bring our guys down here. Bring them up here. Okay. Yeah. I do continue to find a super chat. Shout out to the sound guy working on the broom closet at CA. You're the real hero. All right, dude. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. Yep. Okay. All right. We want to try to mess them around as much as possible. And buy us some time to get our reinforcements together and organized. Alright, these units here can be alright against bear riders if we can get them away. Yeah, they're just going to rush at us. This is good, this is good. This is good. Because they can't catch us, I think. Yeah, no, they definitely can't catch us. Do they have shields? No. Armor, but no shields. Also, if you send enough of these um, Chaos Warhounds at the bears, you can actually overwhelm them because they're anti-large and these are not large. And they can only really hit one unit at a time. That's it, just soften them up a little bit. This is where that extra wood came in handy as well. Okay, we've got... Okay, good, 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 good. We've got reinforcements coming in. This is good. So far, so good. Get ready to... Do something about this. I think we're going to take this unit out pretty early. And that's that's worth a lot of their auto resolve power. And if our trash can take out their most elite unit. Right, here we go. Alright, go get organized. Spread out over that way. Oh, God. Uh, shit biscuits. That's a lot of, a lot of units. Okay, there's war bear riders. They are doing some damage, but they're only doing damage to trash. Do 
Okay. Music's changed. That's good. How are we going over here? Alright. That's that's pretty good. I mean, they did do some damage, but only to trash units, so that's fine. Come on. And they fall to the death, and they're gone. Cool. He can't replace them now. That's really good. Alright, let's get moving. And what we want to do, because we've got a larger army than theirs, but our army is, like, lower quality, we want to surround him as much as possible. So, make use of our... our numbers. So, the opposite of blobbing. Need to get around him here. Spread out. Uh, they like shooting at the aspiring champions, but they've got such high armor and missile block chance. I don't know why they bother. Move back a bit. Not ready to attack yet. Got to get around them. Bring us to carnage! Boris coming in hot there. Okay, going in. Try to avoid their extremely high quality melee infantry, and let's instead. Go after the missile units. Those aspiring champions are getting beat down pretty easily. It's not ideal. Yeah, go after them. You just don't fight the Tsar Guard. It's going be a waste of time. through that. Uh, Benji9 became a new member. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate the super chat. Cossars, two that bloody strong. Lord. Mm, no particularly good castle, I guess we'll get a bad one. Okay, I need that one to not shoot at us. Yeah, don't fight Kossars, uh, Sargard. It's just a waste. Trying to focus at their weak points rather than their strong points. Got him surrounded over here. Village, could you smash this Patriarch over here? That'd be good. That's what the Masters bid. Where does Bear Riders go? Oh, no, no, no. Get him out of there. Get him out, get him out. There's the bears. Slowly but surely overcoming them. Oh, that one shattered. Yeah, that's it. You chase after me here. Chase after me. How are we going here? Almost one there. Maybe bring a couple of these guys up this way. 
Yeah, Boris, come after me. Let's just get him out of this area. Good. Keeping units that we just can't beat out of the fight is how we deal with them. God damn, these armored cossars are giving me the shits. Alright, time to harass these war bear riders. Keep this one out of it so it doesn't get wiped out. This is bloody going nowhere here. Bring him up this way. Good, that one finally broke. Actually, it'd be really good if we could manage to kill this guy, because... Even if he loses, he'll probably become immortal, unless we kill him. Make sure this one here dies. one out of it too badly damaged we got this they're running on fumes now come on kill this lord uh, kill this hero it's almost dead man to get into level 19 and then getting killed <laughs> oh, i think we got him good he doesn't get to come back nice okay there's we won there's the army losses i can tell because he's flashing See if we can run him down if possible. They will succumb. Get us I don't think it's going to do anything. Yeah, that barely even tickled his bum. Good, all the boars are gone. And I don't think any of our units got wiped out, so it will be pretty easy to wipe them out next turn. Oh, hang on. Yeah, there's all the boars. There's gone. Yeah, we can't catch him. Four nine seven zero to that's a bit of damage. That's nothing. He's probably not going to get any replenishment. <laughs> yeah, run down these armored cossars because they did a lot of damage to us. Boris will never again be a threat because there's no way for him to recruit those bear riders. And he lost his patriarch as well. And having just a spam of Cossars isn't going to be enough. He also lost the Armoured Cossars as well. He says he can't replace this. Well, it probably is going to be a Pyrrhic victory. This is a good Pyrrhic victory for us. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that's fine. Where's Ned of Amantok when you need it? Yeah, well... Don't have Thor of Light, but it would have been useful there. That one got away. 
his army is destroyed. There's no way he'll be able to resist our counterattack without his bear riders. And all of these experienced units. This is a devastating loss for him. And all we had was trash. Do aspiring champion stacks hold up well on legendary? Yes, when you get all the tech bonuses to boost them, they do hold up really well. At the moment, they're a little bit not worth it. But once I get some text to boost them, they'll be they'll be really good. Yeah, not a single unit got wiped out. That's what you want to see. And I will take that money and souls. Let's see where he runs off to. That was good. Okay, Niao Ying's back. by Boris. Well, it's not really goodbye Boris, it's just that he's no longer a threat. Because he still has territory in the south, so we still gotta go take that out. Will there be a video today? Yes, I've already recorded a video for today. Uh, I want you to be a vassal, so no. Already told me all. No. Mm, Clan Ferric is still hanging on. Yeah, look at this, Laurelon Forest coming over. <laughs> himself summons us to his realm. We have been trusted oh, okay. with a task that will bring us much favor. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Archeon saying that. Cool. I wouldn't worry about that right now, though. Yeah. That's all that's left of Boris's army. It's it's finished. He, he's not going to be able to recruit any. Why are they besieging the settlement and trying to starve it out? God, they're morons. Does he want peace now? No. So these guys went and occupied this settlement, and that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Slaughter the sheep. Any missions for us that could be useful? Let's have a look. Yep, Bor we're about to beat Boris, so that makes sense. Yep. Mm, I don't think... Oh, I might be able to catch that one. Yeah, I can catch that before they get to it. And then Miao Ying's army is still fairly dangerous. Hmm. I don't want to give her Wang Chang. I want her to be left with Nan Li. That's fine, it's not too far to go. Could sack it. Oh yeah, that's worth a fair bit to sack. Alright, let's do that. Destroy. 
Yeah, we're gonna save this, I think. Good, barely any casualties, and yeah, we'll just sack that. This guy here is on a cow shrine. I'm not super fond of that. Just down the cow steed. Just down the cow steed, please. Not the chariot. They just get a little bit derpy. Oh, Talisman of Preservation. That should be on Archeon. We'll switch. Haven't really worried too much about items in this campaign. Kurlet can take this out. Oh, that's actually maybe not a good idea. <laughs> because her turn will go first, and if she attacks me, I suppose I'll run around to the other side of it. That'd be pretty funny, actually. Because, yeah, that's going to use up all my movement. Bring me to the storm! Ah, well, we'll see what happens. Take it out. <laughs> easy come, easy go. So here's what I think will happen over the end turn, is that Miao Ying will attack us. But I'll actually run back over here, and she just won't have enough movement to catch us. Because, yeah, we killed her, um... Alchemist. She's not gonna have enough movement. That's what I think is gonna happen. <laughs> so, we'll see. Alright, at the challenge stone here, we need to get the defenses built before Astragoth. I don't know. Despoil the ravage. And then it's time to kiss Boris goodbye. Village the cursling. I've sold expedite sickness. Expedite sickness. Why not force march to Dolgan? I'm not sure what you mean. Oh wow, Scarecrow Banner, so good. Alright, next up for these guys is the Pillar of Skulls. And that's the settlement that we occupy because it's got tusks there. He has no forces left, although I did... Yeah, we should be able to force march. Should be fine. What does Kazrak one I do in Cathay? Uh, I think his faction died and just revived near us, so we just kind of got lucky with that. Speaking of which, no more non-aggression with you. 
Because I actually want to make him a vassal. Now that he has a herdstone, I think we can... Oh, wow. Dragon Hoff Conclave is destroyed. Probably the Bowman of Orion that did that. That's pretty funny. What's our strength ranking? Are we close to the Wood Elves? 13. Not even close. Let's have a look at who's... Talson's number... 19 territories. Damn. He's going ham. In Bretonia, that's that's all his territory there. Arguillon has nine territories. Looks like he's put, moved into Reichland. Yeah. Heralds of Ariel, that doesn't concern us. Wargrove of Woe is getting fairly close to us here, and they're, they're quite strong. Widrioth is equal to us. Looks like they captured this settlement over here. Hmm. And then... There's some undiscovered factions that are apparently a bit stronger than us. Beastmen can revive? Apparently so, yep. Okay, let's put a point to that. Cool. It's tempting to force march so I can actually reach that next turn. That is tempting. But if I do that, Miao Ying could launch the attack on us, and I'm just not super confident we could repel her while we're in force march. Let's wait until she goes up this way. Alright, let's move on. Are the Wood Elves the endgame crisis? Yes, Wood Elves are the endgame crisis. How can you revive Kazrak? Kazrak just revived on his own. Ooh, okay, I'll have to sally out to fight that. Because, yes... Freaking walled city sieges. They starve us out until there's only 50% of us left, and the battles in the walled city siege is not that easy to begin with. Did I vassalize the tan, and can you recruit chorf units? When I ally with chorfs as chorfs, I can't recruit more than my own unit caps, but I never try another race. I haven't built an outpost with them because at the moment all I can get are um, trash. I don't know if I'm going to get laborers. Oh! I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that. It's just Warhounds, who cares? I thought I was going to have to retreat. And that's good for a good defeat trait for him. Am I number one yet? No, no, not yet. No, with the end game crisis active, it'd take a fair bit to get to rank one. Clanish on the move. How would the Wood Elves end game crisis affect me? Well, if they send armies at me, I have to fight those armies. That's what. No, 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 no. Oh, no. You're not at war with them. That's fine. <laughs> I'll have to keep it under siege. Martin Friedrich did a CZK... 49 super chat what do you enjoy more battle or campaign map play uh, campaign is what i enjoy yeah i do like battles i need both but i prefer a campaign yeah if total war only had battles i probably wouldn't be interested in them because i don't think the battles on their own are that good Because the campaign gives context to battles, and the battles give context to the campaign. And that's what I like. 
they both work together. What happened to Bowman of Orion? Oh, did they get wiped out? They, they must have got wiped out because they're not here anymore. Cool. All right. Well, how would you like to go to war with somebody else like Lorlorn or Widrioth? Ooh. Ooh. No. Torgavan. Getting closer. Argorlon. Hang on. Nope. Talson. No. Wargrove of Woe. Nope. How about Heralds of Ariel? Nope. Disciples of Hashut. Ooh, close. But you can't give them money to make them negotiate. And Yeah, I don't actually want you to go to war with them. How about Ursan Revivalist? Okay, here's something we can get you to do. And that way we can get him to give us money. Because <laughs> money is weighed absolute zero with them. I think I can get there before Clan Eshin gets there. And then these three just stay behind. Uh, just keep them under siege. Yeah. Because, yeah, we can't subjugate them until they've only got one settlement left, and I want them to be that settlement because there's no special resource there. Kolek. Need to replace those units. 3% chance of that. Okay. Actually, this area here is pretty much secured for the time being, so I don't really need to purchase a whole lot. to get all of these. This the dark so I can become a demon. Alright, and this is a problem. What? I may have to fight it manually because it's a legendary lord and he'll probably have a whole heap of order resolve power. But let's have a look. Close defeat. Alright, well, we outnumber him, so that's good. I can't switch this lord because it's actually not mine. It's a allied faction. Astrogoth. So, the dangerous units are moderately dangerous. Not dangerous at all. Very dangerous. But if we pin them down, it's not so bad. Danger. I reckon we could win this. Let me just see if I can manipulate this a little bit better. Uh, Versi to 2 euro super chat. Hey, Legend, what makes his Azel so strong? He's got a big dick. No, um, he's a small target. He's got high stats. That's basically it. Overrun the world. Come on, tell me you can arrive here. <sighs> I don't I don't think I don't think he can make it. He went back too far. Chieftain of the tribe. No, I'll just have to make do with that. Alright. 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 Let's have a look at this. Alright, so he's got that, so that he'll hurt himself with that. What's his spell casting abilities like? Ash Storm. Okay, he hasn't got any of the really good spells, so that's good. And yeah, Azazel's a Mortis Engine, that's right. Yeah, alright. When it comes to Astrogoth, we should just avoid fighting him. Just don't bother engaging with him, he's too strong. It's, uh, this one here has got a potion of toughness, so maybe we should just have Chaff fight him. Anti large there, yeah. okay. What's the map look like? That's fine. Oh, 
Oh, I got some Skaven units. Oh, that's from Clan Ferric. Okay, we've also got that, and their melee attacks improved. Armored Chaos Trolls. We need to, as quickly as possible, get into melee with the with the blunderbusses and smash them. They cannot be allowed to shoot. These guys here are... We could just, just ignore them for the most part. Those are going to be a big problem. They're going to have a bit of ward save. Yeah, those, those are going to be a big problem. They're anti-infantry as well. Hmm... Hmm. I think this is going to be a tough fight, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to give it a shot. Why not fight in settlement? Because settlement sieges are crap, and they're just going to starve us out for five turns, and whittle us down to 50% strength. Settlement sieges are actually harder to defend sometimes than field battles because of having to defend multiple points. I absolutely hate defending walled sieges. Absolutely hate it. So, if they lay siege, I'll almost always sally out. Unless I have absolutely no chance of winning. In which case here, I kind of feel like I can win. Not super confident. It really comes down to how well we manage to pin down the blunderbusses, because that's that's their like, biggest damage dealer. We've got a lot of speed on our side here, so if I can manage that, then we'll see how we go. You know, we outnumber them. But the quality is on their side. I want to try to get this Bale Tor sorry not Bale Taurus, Great Taurus to chase after us because we can shoot the shit out of it. It does not have that much missile resistance. And yeah, I want to get these around over here. Can I get behind them? I could. Okay, I think I want to fall back just a little bit. No, I can do that when the battle begins. Fall back a little bit more this way. Alright. At least he doesn't have any fire glaives. I'm glad for that. Not super long range. But yeah, I really want to get the Great Taurus chasing after us. Or the, um, the Bull Centaur renders. If I can take them out early, I think that'll make a huge difference. Come on, Great Taurus, come after me, you little bitch. Sneaky gets. Stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back. Okay, we got his attention. Here we go. This is what I wanted. Taking this unit out early will be really good. Because, yeah, it is not super fast. We're actually faster than it. And we can maybe shoot it out of the sky fairly easily. so far. This is so far going really well. is kind of helping it out a little bit here. Okay, 
Okay, I need to stop this hobgoblin archer from shooting, so it'll probably activate. Okay, this one activated again. Go back, go back. Good, taking out that Bale Taurus really early is good. The fact that they've sent these units over here could be good for isolating and killing them. That's actually really stupid of them to do that. While still taking a defensive position over here. I don't mind shooting orc laborers. They're not completely useless. And they're also really vulnerable to getting shot because they've got no armor. Taurus, they're not going to be able to do much about that. And taking out this Hobgoblin Archer here at low cost, really good. This little engagement here probably just won us the battle. I think that just won us the battle. It was just... Oh, look at that. He's been using... <laughs> he's damaging himself with the... Um, with this, he already had heaps of magic. He didn't need to do that. And plus, his spells are not good anyway. All right. Are you guys going to be okay taking out this great Taurus? Oh, yeah. Oh, look, yeah. Chucking down the buffs on the unit that's trying to retreat. blob right there. I'm going to charge right at it before they get organized. Sneaky gets try to avoid that. Gotta get around their back to pin down the blunderbusses. Get their blunderbusses. Don't give them a chance to shoot. Okay, a great choice is almost gone. Okay, now these guys here at the moment, all they're doing is pinning them down. They're not really hurting them much. We gotta punch through this. Okay, great choice is gone. Let's go. Magic in this battle. Okay, 
Okay, make him do another loop around again. Main thing here is just keep those blunderbusses in melee so they don't shoot. Because that's what fucks us up the most. No, 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 no. Stop them. Stop them. I feel they don't have that much with flaming attacks, though. These ones here don't come back either. Good as playing Warriors of Chaos music. Yep, yeah, that's a good sign. Keep throwing our guys back into combat. Let's keep going. Trolls, just come over there, but don't actually get involved. That gives them time to regenerate. Them doing constantly Ash Storm, they're not using flaming attacks, so it's fine. It's not really hurting us. Okay, don't let those blunderbusses shoot. Uh -oh. Don't let these blunderbusses shoot. Back in. Die, die. Die, die. Run these fuckers down. Keep the uh, keep the trolls away from Astrogoth. Have just have him fight shit. He's too strong. He's playing Chaos Wolf music again. What the hell? All my dudes are routing. Come on. You gotta be a little bit braver than that. Fucking shattered. Get back over here. Oh, all my dudes just routed. I feel like we were winning. Thing is, even if we lose with all of our units routing all the time, Their army is so destroyed that they're probably not going to be able to um, come back and fight us next turn. So even if we lose, we'll probably still end up winning, <laughs> if that makes sense. I still feel like we got this. The problem is we've just got some really powerful units in here. Keep those two away from, from that. Especially you, I need you. If you die, we're going to lose our leadership. Keeps using Ash Storm, but he's not really doing that much flaming attack on us. Good, that one routed, that's great. God, there's 
only a handful of them left. Those might rally. I can't catch them anywhere. Yeah, it rallied. I've got to stop those blunderbusses. They've only got a handful of troops left, but my guys are so exhausted. Get the trolls out of there, because they've got flaming attacks. Move back. And they're anti-large. These guys have a little bit of a rest. Maybe Astrogoth, fucking unbreakable. Just so good in melee. that one away if you wouldn't mind. Just keep them close by but don't actually fight. Do it, the blunderbusses. God, they, they got those kills just in melee. Look, like they're at full ammo. I don't have anything that can deal with um, those two single entities, though. Good, they broke. Keep these two out of it. We lose them. Actually, it doesn't matter if you die. You get in there. Get out of there, I need you. Hurry! I will. So be it. Lasting for blood. Waterfall. Yes. That's what the master is. Lasting blunder buses going. Give us a nice charge in there. Break him. Good, broke him. Oh my god, how am I supposed to win this against these two single entities here? <laughs> I don't know what to do. For the gods. He's too damn strong. Up. Oh, this spell here probably is doing a fair bit of damage to us. God, isn't he right out of magic yet? Yeah, it looks like he might actually end up winning, but his army is so bloody destroyed that he would not be able to pursue. I don't want him fighting them trolls. Move them out of there. Let's try to get the trolls over here and finish these bull centaur renders off. If we can. Keep this... Because these guys here, they are anti-infantry. The trolls should do okay. Just try and run down everything that we possibly can. I don't think you can do much here. Look at these guys here, one leadership. Okay, you just need to take out 720 health there with that much leadership. Oh, I think we're gonna get army loss. Those two units there were just way too strong. I couldn't overcome them. Look at Astrogoth, he's barely taking any damage. But his army is destroyed. He's not gonna be able to pursue it, because most of our army is still alive, they're just routed because they're cowards. Yeah. 
How the hell, with what I've got left, am I gonna supposed to deal with this? Yes, look, they killed them. Kill them. They just, they're falling to pieces. Can't work with them. Hashit Laura Pats have did a lot of damage. Yeah, but I couldn't do anything about that. Couldn't do anything about it. Alright, just charge at him. Our guys are just cowards now. Yeah, the battle's lost. There's there's nothing more I can do. There's nothing more I can do. We just gotta wait to get routed. Is there a hope to replenish and just auto resolve? I can't, I'm under siege. But it we don't need to replenish. We could fight them again straight away and win. His army is destroyed apart from these two units, whereas our army mostly routed, so our army's not really that badly damaged. It came down to morale here. So even though we lost the battle, it's still a victory because we're trying to save the city. He's not going to be able to, to win. Just get him off the battlefield. There is no way these guys here can handle Astrogoth, especially with all that physical resistance. He's been in melee all this time. We can outrun him, but fighting this guy here would be even worse because he's anti-large. But I can't withdraw because we sallied out. I think we destroyed all the blunderbusses, so that's good. Um, I'm just trying to think how we're going to... I want these units to survive the battle. Army lost me already. There we go. Valiant defeat. That's okay. That's better than what Order Resolve was going to yield. And look, his army is so badly destroyed that we could sally out again right now, and I think we could overcome it. Oh, we're not going to be able to do that, but I'm just saying we could. Yeah, Astrogoth is really strong. Plus all the dwarf units, they just would not die. Wouldn't rout. Would have been good if we could have done a little bit more damage to these guys so we could wipe them out. But it's good to get rid of the Taurus as well. So we'll see what the overall damage is here. The damage isn't that bad. Like, they lost more units than we did. Yeah, they took more casualties than we did. It's just that we routed. That's the only problem. Their units fought to the death and ours didn't. Yeah, I can't sally out again. Enslave the southerners. Madras. He might just back off after that. That is a useless win for him. Because now he definitely won't be able to capture the settlement. So we'll wait until next turn and then see if we can launch the attack on him again. Alright. Is Nutella good on toast? Yep. 
Yep, okay, what are we doing next? Moving... I don't trust these guys to finish off Boris. Um, Aaron Richards did a $20 submission. A while ago you did a disaster battle in the smallest unit scale. It was very silly and fast paced. If you had to do a full campaign on that setting, which faction would be best for it? I don't know and I wouldn't do it. it just not even going to entertain that thought. I'm definitely not going to do that. Small unit scale is not fun to use. But thanks for Super Chat. Actually, I'll go over this way. We'll go for a Stormbrack mount. Oh, whoops. I should have stayed a little bit over this way. Ah, oh, we'll be fine. My bad. That's alright. Ah, oh, it's, a, it's a not a no-defeat campaign. That's all right. All right, I got plenty of money, so let's do some building. So, yeah, I think the biggest problem with Astrogoth is, like, we need to shoot him because we just couldn't beat him in melee at all. He was so bloody strong. The rest of his army is not that... Oh, we didn't wipe that one out. Dominate. We're going to take a fair bit of attrition. What? So this is a borrowed army as well. Gotta keep that in mind. Slaughter the sheep. And next turn we'll have these guys to come and assist us. Unless he brings in another army, which I don't think he will, because most of his armies are over here. Alright, I want to upgrade Zinch units. And let's see how we go. Yeah, oh, what's he doing? Is he going to attack this? Yeah, there we go. We lost the battle, but we won the war, sort of. He's having to back off. We saved the city. That was the whole point of that defense, just to save the city. <laughs> Very costly, I guess. It served our strategic purposes to do that. It definitely would have been better if we could have wiped out the army, especially killing off the, that hero and his um, bull centaur render. But he had uh, blunderbusses that were max experience that got wiped out. No, I didn't. Oh, they just sacked it. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Is tea best with honey or sugar? I think it's best with honey. I've actually been drinking a fair bit of tea lately. Hey, overcharged egg, how's it going? Alright, well, that'll be the end of Meow Yin. Well, not the end of her, but she's about to be get subjugated. Maxim Lozach did a membership for 11 months. Hey, Legion, glad to see another stream. I just woke up, but that's definitely a VOD. I'll catch up to you later. Cheers. No worries, dude. Thanks for the super chat. Maybe if I had managed to find some way to get Astrogoth lured away, I should have tried to do that, but I was focusing so much on the blunderbusses. How much of a nuisance is Clannation right now? Not really, I'm not at war with them. Not really a nuisance at all. The mountains call. Yeah, we're not going to be able to pursue. Just ran off. Well, that gives us some more time to get all these things here. Uh, fixed up. So next time he comes back here, it'll be harder for him. We 
shall weave the fates. Would have liked to have concluded and uh, defeated that army utterly, but but he ran off. Do you hear about two new models for Warhammer Old World? I don't follow Warhammer Old World at all. It's, I don't really care. Oh, what, was, what settlement is this? Okay, we need to give this to... Yeah, we can give this to the cool. Was it easy to confederate Kodak? Like, yeah, it was pretty easy. Yeah, we got... We defeated him pretty early on. That smashed him. Alright, these guys here backed off like I thought they would. Bloody... Bitch. Yeah, these guys recruit a couple of units and they just ran off. A bunch of cowards. And I can't borrow this army, can I? No. Oh, look at that. I can't go into encamp stance with these guys here. That's interesting. Okay. Alright, I'll send... both Kolek and Miao Ying over here. Oh, not Miao Ying. I mean, okay. On. Oh, they don't have any forces. Right. Cool, we got the iron resource already, so armor plus 10 for Chaos Warrior units. That could have won us the battle, the extra 10 armor. <laughs> I don't know. And then we subjugate Miao Ying. Do the Chorfs make good vassals? Uh, so far, so good. Uh, Verdant Squire did a 5 pounds subject. Hey, Legend, would it help sieges if basic units couldn't climb walls or break gates? Probably wouldn't make that big of a difference. But might make a bit of a difference. Thanks, Super Chat. Alright. How big is Clan Ishin out here? Chaos has no use to snitch. Alright, so that's just a straight up ruin. Okay. I think we should just keep pushing into Cathay. I'll give this to. I'll give that to. Um, Miao Ying. Let us corrupt. You need a boon. Destruction for all. What? Take what's there. Okay. That's all fine there. Yeah, we definitely can't push on to finish him off, I think. He would have recovered a fair bit, and I can't recruit from these two armies. And money's not amazing, so I can't really justify recruiting another army until I close up this frontier over here. Actually, it wouldn't be too bad if these guys here lost Karak Dum, so I could go and get it. Come before the clan. Let's have a look in Diplomacy and see what's available. Chaos incarnate. Chaos. Bloodthirsty. Help. Hear me roar. No. Golex Sanita. Yeah, we'll send all of our forces down this way. We're not at war with uh, Zhao Ming yet, but after having taken out Miao Ying, I don't imagine he's going to put up that much of a fight. If we have a look at the Skaven, he should be at war with them as well. Many blades yeah. Ready. Yes. Okay. Many blades ready. Eager. All 
All right, we'll see about doing some construction. Move on. Alright, moving on. What could you possibly offer me, Mewins? No. We've got him by the balls, we need to finish the job there. Is the Lord of Vampires still strong? Do you mean Lore of Vampires? Uh, I'd actually go so far as to say Lore of Life is better. But you could argue Lore of Vampires is the best. He's getting all those sweet caravans. Well, this is not coming straight for me. I'm just not really sure what this one's doing. It's just wandering around the mountains of Morn. How hard are the Chaos Dwarfs' enemies? It, it very heavily depends on what their army is made up of. So when we fought Zatan the Black, it was easy. He was so easy to beat because all of his army was just full of laborers. Just wasn't a problem at all. But... Astrogoth Iron Hand, that was a tough fight because our army was shit and his army was full of really good units. So it just depends on what you go up against. Which is pretty similar to other factions. Sometimes you'll have an easy time, sometimes it'll be it'll be tough. Quite make it there, and you can see these guys are coming to Ruin Dweller. Clan Eshin will get there first because. Oh, Ooh, okay, so he hasn't fully recovered. I kind of want to lure him down here to fight us. So what I'll do, if I put this guy, no, how are you doing? You haven't fully recovered yet. If I put this guy here, this way, he's using up 25% of his movement by staying in the stance. So if I get attacked here, it should push us far enough away, and he might pursue us. Then what I want to do is put this guy here. Put him in ambush dance because I want to screen him and I'm gonna put a Lord in here and Recruit a whole bunch of units and just throw it at him and we want a lore of magic. That's gonna be good at getting rid of Astrogoth 
The only one I can think of is Lore of Death. <laughs> it's just fucking shit Lore of Magic, but it's the, it's the only thing I got. I'll just have to Spirit Leech him. Yeah. Yeah, don't recruit it now, or else we'll give away the game. So we'll lure him down here, because I want to conclude that fight here, yeah, fully replenished. Because if you have a look at him, he's got a little bit of spell resistance, and a bit of ward save. Oh, you don't need a lot of spirit leeches to get him. Bow to me. Looks like they moved from over here over to here. Alright. me, brother. Yeah, interesting thing about Encamp Stance is that you only lose the campaign this movement range on the turn that you go into it. So, next turn, we shouldn't use up any additional campaign movement range. Maybe we can even get to Tribe Slaughter, we'll see. Okay. Come. Hmm, crossing the desert over here. Alright, we'll also go into yes. camp stance there. Indubitably. Chaos. As we make our way down here. Dominance. Yes, I ruin us. Okay. Just gotta take a few turns traveling down south. There's just not much over here, and that's a ruin that's gonna be ruined world. Okay. Decent income at the moment. Alright, let's move on. Not a particularly interesting turn, though. The Eye of Syrian has already told me your offer. But I... No. Interesting that he wants a military alliance, but screw that, dude. Alright, is he gonna go for it? Okay, he's taken the bait so far. Back off. Ah. I'm not sure if I can reach him from that distance. Also, did he go back into friendly territory and get replenishment? Because if he did, then that's not ideal. Not too worried about the widows. If they only send one army every now and again, it's not a big deal. Do you usually use the heroes for their actions? I only rarely use the block army one. Other than that, they don't feel impactful to me. Yeah, I, I pretty much agree with that. Yeah. They're not particularly impactful. And also, the chances of success are usually very low. They're usually much better attached to our armies. So what I usually do is attach them to my armies to get them trained up. But by the time they're trained up, I just don't need to use their hero actions anymore. Yeah, I think the Skaven took that. I think the Tong actually attacked one of their settlements. That's good. Rip Gormandi. It doesn't matter. They're not a vassal or anything. Yeah, they did. They took the Pillar of Skulls. But I want the Pillar of Skulls. They should give it to me. 
<laughs> can they? Enter then. Are you after a drink, a fist fight, or both? They will give it to me. Done. Thank you. Because I want the tusks. I think that improves Marauders. Um, weapon strength for Chaos Chariot units. Okay, that's not what I thought, but that's still pretty good. Oh, it does use up the campaign movement. Anyway, we can reach Boris here. Is that Boris? Yeah, it is. Okay. We might be able to order resolve this with both of these armies. Attack them. So getting rid of Boris is a big deal. Uh, as for the settlement here, yeah, I'll just give that to the cool. Guess we should push on Astrogoth as well from down here, because he's being a bit of a pain in my bum. Block army was really impactful, right, in Warhammer 1 and 2. It's it's impactful in Warhammer 3, I just don't need it, that's all. Oh, that's actually a really shit auto resolve. Oh, they will die. Master, let me burn them all. Serve until you die. Let me be lazy. I'm tired, let me be lazy. I might be able to spare this unit if I upgrade it. See if that makes any difference. Oh, that actually made it worse, but I don't want to fight it manually. <laughs> mm. Ah, who cares? They oh, there's another one in there. It's okay, it's only Warhounds and the Forsaken unit. And that is the end of Boris. Except, no, it isn't, because I think I can subjugate him. Alright. It's not actually the end of Boris. How about that? This would be good because, yeah, Boris could defend this area here quite easily for me. Alright, didn't realize public order here was so bad. That's still going to cause a revolt. There's going to be a revolt here no matter what, so we're going to need a lord. Because there's not much, well, actually, no chaos corruption there because of the Skaven. The Skaven are causing the problems. Actually, that might have might actually prevent the revolt. There we go. There we go. It's, it is making some money, so that sucks to lose it, but I don't want to cause a revolt there. And again. No. No, no, no. Not a large enough garrison. I am Mountain God. I was hoping I could reach him. Need a boon. Overrun the world. A chaos. If that had been built, we would have won that battle, I think. Oh, it's too late now. Uh, yeah, he re he's replenishing the full. And he's hired Regiment of Renown as well. Okay, I'm going to put this guy here in Ambush Dance as well. I've still just got to try to lure Astrogoth down here. Now, if I can't reach him, 
That doesn't mean he can't reach me, but maybe stay about there. The eagle guides me. Make it there. The crow directs All right, if he attacks us from there, hopefully he'll stay in this area. I just need the ability to actually attack him. If you guys could move up here a little bit more, just in case things go wrong. We just need to be able to catch him next turn. All right, we've also got too many armies in this area, so I'm going to get rid of this one here. And make our way towards Shang Yang, I guess. Climb the mountain. This serves the dark powers. Bring me to the storm. This is decreed by me. God damn it. Okay, if I stand right there. I'm within his uh, reinforcement zone. These two are just putting them at ambush dance over this way. Okay, that's all we can do there. And then here, yeah, we'll send our forces down to fight against um, Astrogoth. Oh no, I'd like a gift of Zinch. That could be really handy. Okay, and let's move on. But things are definitely calming down now. They're, well, not that it was ever really particularly difficult, but we're, we're really going to start the steamroll. Oh, he doesn't want to go for it. Alright, they're going to bring in multiple armies. Okay. No. Alright, I think we're getting through too many turns where just nothing is happening, so I think this is a good place to maybe call it a day. Let's get through this turn here, see if anything interesting happens, which I doubt it will. But we're in no danger of being defeated, even if we lose the odd battle here and there. We've got enough power base and enough vassals to ensure that the endgame crisis really shouldn't be that much of a problem. And Cathay won't be able to resist us. Nastrogoth is only annoying because we're not dedicating forces to go and deal with him. that. Alright, cool. Alright, it's time to call the day. We're at eight hours. Oh, hang on. Look at this. That's interesting. 
That'd be really good for um, Village, if he actually had some. I'd say just get some of those items. Alright, let's go chuck a host over to someone, and that's assuming someone's even live streaming. And I'm gonna call it a day, because I'm getting pretty tired, I'm getting, I'm feeling slow and sluggish. Uh, eight hours is plenty. Alright, who are we gonna chuck a host over to? Anton B Gaming is doing a live stream as Kugath Plaguefather. Alright, cool, let's chuck the host over to him. And I will see you guys another time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Really appreciate all the support today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this live stream. And I will see you later. There will be a video later tonight because it's already been recorded. Uh, let me just set up this host. Yeah, go show some support over to Anton B. Gaming. And I will see you another time. Later, guys.